Hey there, kids. It's me, Oni the Unicorn. And I'm here to tell you that f***ing your dreams ain't cheap. In fact, it costs a f ton of cash to do. So that's why me and the Ono oh Radio Show need your help. Just go to the website displayed below and hit us up with some cash, yo. One dollar, five dollars, f*** a million dollars if you have it to spare. Any amount is appreciated. Well, I gotta go because these dreams ain't gonna f*** themselves. See ya! <laughs> no, 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 no! No! God, please, no! Oh, no. Oh, no! You are listening to the Oh No Radio Show. Eat a bag of dicks. So I saw some dude with a name tag on at an establishment the other day, and it was uh, Boggy. B-O-G-G-Y. What the hell kind of a name is Boggy? And fuck that guy and his parents. My name is Owen. Welcome to the Odo Radio Show. This is the part I do the intro. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm the captain of this shit ship. And um, along with me tonight are my two good friends that sail the Ono Seas with me. It is my good friend, Ty. He's fresh from a diabetic shock episode. How are you, Ty, my <laughs> lizard wizard? Hey man, you know, sometimes low blood sugar happens, man. All right. deal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it when your medicine is a piece of cake. That's a that's a disease. Ah, that's a disease that, 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 that you should get into. 
Uh, and with me, of course, he's chewing on something. He's 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 uh, eating himself. Maybe he's got he's just fat. He's not low, got low blood sugar. He just wants to be fat. Man. I'm eating protein, motherfucker. Oh, OK. It's Mikey. <laughs> Mike, how are you doing? My mustache. I got to feed these bad boys. Oh, you feel like I'm... feeding your guns with all yeah, the work feed, with all the working out you do? I mean, I do work 60 hours a week. Yeah, that's so. not working out, though. I mean, I don't know if you're you're working that, out, I, out. Bro, I unload two trucks a week. Well, three oh, trucks. Okay, actually. all right. Yeah, a lot of, a lot still of st- getting my still getting my pump on. A little stacking, little unstacking, little yeah, bro. using that hand cart. You know, doing a little fucking like. Oh, uh, this is all no no did. hand cart, no hand cart. Because the area is so small, like a hand Ooh. cart, we can't really. It's not a practical really thing. It. Not a practical. Th- oh man! So this is a, a non hand cart scenario. All right. Well, it's all. It's all these. It's all the. It's the guns. It's the guns. Yeah. Ah. You're looking very. Um, you're looking very red today, Mike. You're like in the red, red shirt. You're like got the red hat. Oh. You got yeah. What's what's with the red? Do you gay days at Disney? I'm a blood now. Oh, uh, you're blood now. I. I joined up. Yeah. Fair. fair. I, yeah. I killed two Crips okay. uh, over the weekend. I'm looking so. a little red too, but that's because of alcohol. Like it's that's just my face and <laughs> alcohol. And uh, I haven't been doing that. Yeah. No. I'm you still back not, off. Still drink, not really drinking, huh? Nope. Just uh, uh, not doing it. Uh, well, I think you need to because uh, the aliens are here. And let's get on that right away, man. Hold on. Wait. Are the aliens here, and did they bring enough beer for everyone? Well, that's what I'm hoping. I heard that there's, like, alcohol in space. Like, there's, like, all, like space there's, alcohol. There's clouds like, yeah. of it. Clouds of it. So we clouds can, of So it. we can get that shit brought down here. Now you're selling space beers and stuff. I'm <laughs> fucking in. Uh, but, yeah, dude, how do you, I mean... How do you make? What do you make of these congressional hearings with these UAPs and all this stuff? Do you think it's like complete nonsense? Are we excited, or is is, is it, it? It does seem a little crazy that not a lot of people or not a lot of major news outlets or anything are really talking about any of this stuff. Yet they've basically just said the guy under oath, the whistleblower, is said under oath. Yeah, oh yeah, we've got fucking secret programs that like take the goddamn aliens, and then we've got actual aliens, biological like entities, and we've got you know fucking spacecraft from other places, and we're all just like we're all just going about our day like ah oh, yeah, did you see you know Taylor Swift aliens. or whatever? You know? Here's the problem, Owen. Here, here's aliens. what's here's what's wrong, because my brain says, okay. You're trotting out the alien card now. What the fuck is really going? Yeah, wrong? that is, well, that is the thing. People are saying, "What it's the like, fuck? Is, like, what are we trying to distract you from?" Yeah. Right? Like, yeah, that is a good point. Like, what are we trying to distract you from? Yeah, I mean, if if we're pulling out aliens, I mean, that is that is a serious one. I mean, something's got to be really, really bad. Coming China, around the bend. It's China. It's it's got to be. It's something. <laughs> with China. I mean, I don't okay, trust so- them. Them Chinese, I don't trust them. I don't, I, they're, oh, them. I, well, not to get super serious, but, mm-hmm. like, there's a lot of people and, like, pro, like people making, like, prospects that within the next, like, 10 years, China has, like, full collapse and that whole shit, that place is, like. Well, they're fucked because they don't make enough kids, right, to support their economy, something like that. Well, that, yeah, I think that, you know, in the 90s they did that, but it, the rule's been running pretty much the entire time and so, so it butt fucked them like have... it's catching up to them because now it, it's butt fucked them that now they don't have the generations of like people to be able to support their like whole society i've heard that argument as well that's very that yeah. is very true and so now their their society is too old and it's gonna collapse because you got no one to run everything yeah yeah, yeah then yeah. that's gonna be a whole big cluster but anyways like what i really want to know is in my thoughts most aliens that come here are just humans from farther, you know, because the Big Bang works out, right? Works outwards. They could be related to us, right? Like they could, yeah. Be... So they're they're humans who were who got started maybe like a thousand years ahead of us, uh-huh. you know. So they're a thousand years ahead of us, and they are just coming back to check on, like, okay, well, I mean, this this is still us. This is still humans, like. I like the idea more. No, I like the idea that we're more all like stuck in a a matrix style simulation. And these are aliens coming from with outside the uh, simulation. (laughs) They're trying to like break us free from it. 
And then, you know, we're trying to get back out into the reality <laughs> of the thing, you know? In that situation, I hope this is the simulation just being like, I don't know, it's, it's what happens when you played SimCity 2. At the end, like, once you've built the city enough, you're like, eh, tornado, uh, aliens. monster, yeah. aliens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there we go, the aliens, there we go. I like Listen it. some fucking aliens in. I don't know. It is intriguing, though. Like, I, I do, um, I do, like, find a couple of, like, the uh, descriptions. I mean, I've been del delving deep into this and reading, like, uh, you know, a lot of the transcripts and, like, following up on these hearings. I just saw one clip earlier. I didn't, I didn't, it's pretty I didn't wild know shit. how much. So yeah. they're calling them, like, biologics, right? Like, we've got biologics that aren't of human you know seemed like he was really careful about the way he disclosed yeah. the information but he still disclosed a lot but of information bio, bio, better... biologics or whatever what does that even really mean is that it means what, it's alive what that? it means that it was alive or it's it's of a biological nature right you gotta in all of this you gotta remember they're not being like tight-lipped for no reason a lot of this stuff is still classified information yeah. and they don't they don't really want to start espousing this information in an open courtroom They've well that's said why they're saying times. right like yeah, yeah like they're they, they he can say certain things in front of the in front of the hearings that are on tv and all that but then there's like i guess a closed room meeting after the fact where he's sharing like extra documents and all this yeah. sort of stuff like that's what i want to know about is all that mm. shit well, it's you don't have you don't have clearance. That's the only problem. Right. You don't have enough. You don't have an, a high enough clearance level to hear any of that stuff. So that's the only problem. Is like it's so shrouded behind like clearance levels and securities that you, while you can, while you have every right to know it, you just not credentialed enough to know it. I, I, guess, I guess part of my thing too is you know people are throwing around like oh well they're just doing this for like but like fame or something like why would these top level like military people be coming forward as whistleblowers and all this like if right. like if if there wasn't like it, to me it's obviously like a career suicide thing if like there's not a like if they don't really truly believe what they're saying like unless of course like it's like you said mike and it's just like basically like a government like look the other way type thing distraction to like a false flag or uh a, okay, like a so, psych op type thing but what would be the benefit of anybody doing this if it was if they didn't at saying. least believe it right like it might not be 100 percent true but if they didn't at least believe it what the hell would be the point i i honestly i don't know why you would do any of that because let me take you down like a very similar route there's a lot of stuff on like TikTok right now about like stuff that's happening in in Antarctica Ooh. and like why you're not basically no one's really allowed to go there. One because it's just super dangerous. Like most people, if you went down there unprepared, I mean... you just die immediately. <laughs> within within a, within a day or two, you're dead. Um, and they don't want a bunch of corpses littering that place up. But they also say that there's a lot of stuff like uh you know that's Air just being cut yeah that's being covered up and that there's stuff down there that they're like port there are passages to the inner earth and there are beings like in that live inside of like a secondary planet inside the earth that's cool and and these guys who are coming out now are like yeah i've been threatened by the government by all the agencies like i've been you know harassed i've been what doesn't make sense is like I've been harassed and beat up by the government. Nah, they would just they would just they kill would just you. fucking kill yeah, you. See, I don't believe any of that shit because they would just wipe you off, like like this guy never existed type thing. But then, like, but but in the same respect, like why aren't they as soon as this guy walks out of the court? Why isn't he like huddled into a different room and they're just like cool? Pow 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 pow. Well, too much attention, right? Too much attention. One thing being on TikTok, another thing being like in front of the world on a, a congressional hearing. And I think that's why this is so important because we've heard a lot of similar stories, right? In, in news reports and these like pilots talking about like the Tic Tacs and like the things in the sky that they've seen Stuff move. they've seen. Right, like moving like super, like breaking the laws of our, under, our, our, our right. understanding of physics. We've seen and heard a lot of these stories before, but now it's like under oath in front of a congressional like hearing like this, like, that to me is what makes it so revolutionary because 
I think it forces the hand of the people in the government that they're, they have to now follow up on some of this. I also think some of this is probably related deeply on like the uh, just like the government side of things to like secret um, departments of the government that are funneling money off into that type of shit, which like that's probably why they really want to do this is to follow like the paper trail so they can goddamn like account for some of these tax dollars, these billions of dollars of tax dollars that just seemingly go missing every once in a while. And there's, you know, like not a, you know, a way to like track that. So like this would explain some of that and these like, you know, shadowy, well, you know, government -y type things that might ha be happening there. My big question is personnel. So if you work at the base where or work at the installation or wherever it is mm -hmm. where they handle or process or deal with all of these alien or you know uaps and these biologicals you don't get to like go home at the end of the day probably right? not probably not no i think i don't think those people i think there's a certain like like within that to make that work the only way that you could make there. that work they would have to almost be enslaved to a certain degree to that environment I don't think you can live a normal life. I don't think it would be possible because there's always going to be the one guy that gets a little too fucked up and, like, you know, starts saying to his friend, <laughs> hey, just by the way, you know, Steve, I uh, just going to let you know. Uh, I was <laughs> down at work the other day and, uh, you know. Process uh, some little gray men. Exactly. You, you exactly. know what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, Like, so, yeah, like, that is obviously a question. I think a lot of these cases, like, it's it's hidden in I think they hide a lot of stuff possibly in plain sight as well. So it's like this stuff isn't in secret facilities. It's in military bases that we already know. There's just a secret room or bunker in this military base that only certain people have the very, very, you know, strict, you know, um right. clearances to get to. Like so I think like that part of it, like all these all like, I don't know, secret undercover bases. Also, I think that might be a little far fetched. But then I like start thinking about like some of the stuff that was described, a couple of the new revelations that happened yesterday um, with all this is that they kept describing one guy was describing that there was a uh, a floating cube surrounded in a sphere that made no sound and traveled through the skies. There was also another craft that was about as long as I think a football field, he says, Um that was like a big floating rectangle, like square thing, like re but yeah. rectangular, like football. like a star destroyer, almost. right? But just like a like flat and made like zero sound, and like like these are stuff like these are things that I've not really ever like heard. Like we've heard all heard of uh, you know flying saucers and orbs yeah. and things like that. I've never heard of a flying cube in a sphere before, so that's um, like what the hell is that thing? Oh, and our uh, our buddy Eric in the chat asks us. Um, if the government actually came out and like, you know, held its hand and walked a little gray man out to the podium and like yep. walked him up on the podium. Yeah. What do you think is actually going to happen? I like, don't think what, I think what's people... going to happen in America. OK, so I've thought about this. I think that there would be a percentage of the population that would freak out. And I do think that like it would put into question, of course, like. Uh, people say it would like ruin major religions. Well, well, not really. Not if you really have faith, because you just kind of expand it to like any living being. Like it's it's a pretty easy adaptation. That one I've never like really thought like sticks with me. What I do think it makes people do is question just like um, society's norms as far as like oh we've got to you know work to earn money to buy food to and housing mm. and like I think that's where people would be like well, maybe there's something just, like, greater than that, and that might, like, cause, like, sort of an existential crisis, in a say, in a sense, which might Why even be... Why am I a, working? Because right, like, right. Like, there's so much more to this, like, like The universe, universe is habitable. There's, right. like, there's a million fun. other places out here. Why the <laughs> fuck am I going to work but, every day? Why don't I focus every ounce of my energy on getting off of this fucking planet i think it, yeah i think it, but this, you know how you do that you gotta work you gotta work <laughs> sure but but i do you gotta build a little bit of the rocket at I, least a little bit i don't think it would be as big of a societal like collapse like maybe other people think it would as, as i think uh, you're like, right I, I i think it would there would be like 
there would be a period, and, and I hate to use this comparison, it's kind of tasteless to do so, but you know how we were all just like in that numbness after like 9-11, for instance? Like I think that's, a, or maybe even like Pulse, like a very terrible terroristic or something like event, right? We were all in that like numbness. But like nobody knows what to do, how do right. you move? But we kind of like, but we kind of like after the fact, when we kind of got our senses a little bit, we started like, we came together for a while as well. And honestly, I think that would probably be what would happen because we'd be so goddamn like shocked and it like, oh my God, we've heard about these stories. We've seen sci-fi movies and we've watched Independence Day, but we've always heard about Area 51 and flying saucers. I mean, it's been a common thing in our lives. It's not like it's like a brand new revelation that aliens exist, right? Like we're all like a little bit like, we're skeptical, see it when it's, you know, but we all think that it could be a possibility. Like, I'm yeah. sure, right? So Do, so it's not it's not out of the realm. When people see it, it's not like, I don't know what else you can compare it to, but it, it really, it just kind of, all right, well, that's crazy, and it would fuck us up, but we'd get over it in a week, and, and, and we would just kind of like, okay, now, what do we do now? You know, like. Do, uh, do, can I we think, party? I want to party think, with the aliens. Party. I was going to say, I think the moment that we they come out and they confirm it and they say, hey, uh, there are aliens out there and they're coming here and we know about them and we, you know, we meet and it's at a non-hostile level. I think that's the moment where we stop being like, um, you know, Americans and Russians and we all just become Earth, like Earthlings. Exactly. At that point. It could it could really do wonders. For race relations and countries yeah. coming together and not fight, especially if one was hostile towards us, and then it really is an Independence Day thing where all nations yeah. around the world have to kind of come together to be like, all right, we gotta, you know, they're trying to like take our shit. Like, we gotta, now we're defend- all from Earth. Now we're all from of- Earth. We're not from UK or USA or wherever, you know, like we're, we're in this together. And that's, and that, you know, maybe that's. It's how they get the universal government, man. The one world government Here's, and the, the, the new world order takes over because of the aliens. It's all about them. It's the so bankers. Bigger, it's the Swiss bankers, I tell you. There's a... Mm. So here's the question. If there's a federation of planets and, like, alien nations and they invite us in, how do we elect that motherfucker? Because it's, it's not like... George Bush. He's our, George Bush is already George W. Bush is already the president of that one. He's the, of, yeah, 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 yeah. He was yeah. <laughs> duh, duh. Like, but it, but it's but you gotta think like it's not like you can be like, well, I have an excellent track record on dealing with the aliens. Like, no, you no, you don't. No, you don't. Nobody does. No, you don't. Like, yeah. How do you get into Nobody that? Does. All right. It's like we got to babysit this guy and like teach him our ways of our, you know, universal Senate. And, uh, you know, well, kind of. And, and plus, it can't even come down to like American politics where it's like, oh, well, do we do we have a conservative meet the aliens or do we have. Nah, a see, for, for us, we'd be almost like just to introduce us. We'd just be allowed to just like we wouldn't get a vote. Right. We would be like the reporter on the outside of the White House lawn. We would just kind of be allowed to be sort of near there. And and kind of get an idea of the universal co- politics, like the Glebe Glops don't like the the Zib Zabbies and like the you know like. Okay, so so Owen, oh, yet yeah, like, um, I I'm I'm the alien, and I I fly I'm flying my spaceship down because you guys are like, all right, you can land here on the White House lawn. We set up like a little thing so you can talk to everyone on the planet, and I'm like, all right, I guess, and so I come down. And I walk down my little platform, and they're like, "I'm like, okay, hi, I'm, I'm Mike B from the Planet Federation. Hey, what's going on? What do you guys want to know? Like, what do they ask? Like, I don't know. What do you want to ask See, the I don't aliens think first? If I'm being honest, if it's like they're that like, they're that advanced, right? To have like to what like we're thinking about. I don't think that there's government that even exists. I think it's basically just like part of like a consciousness thing, right? And that like you almost vote like with your consciousness that just like it's like a floating ether. So it's like things kind of swing back and forth in the universe. Jesus, and... you took this all the way to side. <laughs> you took this to heavy side by so I'm just going. All right, going. all right, all right. So you guys work at the office of one of these fucking deep underground motherfuckers. Like okay. you're, 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 you're in basically you're in processing. Say, you're at the front, like you're the desk guy, mailroom guy, I'm, maybe like a mailroom guy. 
I'm HR mail, mail at guy. the secret yeah, government yeah, yeah. facility. God it's damn it, totally Steve. Stop guy. trying to fuck the alien. Stop it, Steve. <laughs> Stop it. Steve, this is the third write up this, the... this month. You can't. Well, uh... Listen, listen. I got a good thing with the boss, and I I just, like, I gave him a playlist, and he really liked my playlist. Yeah, yeah. So he keeps you down somehow, there in the bunker. Somehow. Yeah, yeah. Now it's my job uh -huh. to come up with the best song when we all meet the aliens. Ooh, <laughs> what do you first, what do you play? It's That's the, the question, right? Who yeah. let the dogs out straight away? Who <laughs> let the dogs out is 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 I mean I I feel like I want I want like Venga bus, maybe. Maybe I do a Venga. I would probably do Jamiroquai. Jamiroquai. For think, no good reason. I mean, oh, uh, we like to party. When something like that, we like we, we like, like to party. Like you know? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, like I think because if you don't like that alien, we don't want you here. We don't want you. Here. You know, like you can go suck an egg. But, but what if they're like, oh, okay, they're playing us like their musics, and he goes, oh, hold on oh. one second, and then he brings out like a little box, and he starts and, like puts puts another box on top of it. It's a cube that floats like, in a sphere. I'd like I'd like and that it he... was actually a cassette. Like he actually puts it in an old like he's just oh, like this is he puts awesome. it in eight track. Yeah, he yeah, just, yeah. He's like, "Hold on. It's like a magical uh -huh. eight track. It's like their own format, but it's like like when you put it on, I bet it's like crazy, right? It's like cuz it's just like so loud and intense and it's just like <laughs> it just goes <laughs> it's, it's like we can't handle it. We just drop like we have like seizures and shit when they play the I really want to hear what they jam to though. I want it. Play it loud. Dude. I feel it's like the, it would it's suck. The brown noise. I feel like it would suck. I feel like it would. Honestly, you don't know that. No, it might I be do. Great. I feel. Wow. Like it... Oh, and the aliens aren't even here yet, and you've already been elitist and judgmental <laughs> yeah. about their music. Yeah, they, I think like <laughs> alien music probably blows dicks. Like it's no it's, way. Yeah, it's no stuff way. that you listen to, Ty, from time to time. You play all this like Af. <laughs> he plays like African like what is that music. shit? World shit. I, like it's terrible. I would play everything. It's terrible. It. It's so, it, like it'd be like that mixed with like bagpipes. It's gonna be something like that. that. Yeah. I have something like that. Yeah, yeah. That, that yeah I'm is sure actually pretty good. I'm sure you do. <laughs> they, they come down and it's just like throat singing. <laughs> it is. So what they kind of have a hell name is Boggy. Okay, so I was thinking, <laughs> are you sure you didn't just see some guy fuck up writing Bobby? This guy. It was. I had. I. That's what I thought at first. But trust me, this was like a quadruple check, and I had to get closer to him at the smoking section. To Did you call Boggy to... over here? Like, B Boggy, I, come I, here. I was so close. I'm like, I, but, but then, okay, but I heard two other people say, what's up, Boggy? I'm like, but even that, that could just be like his. It could be a nickname. Name. It could be a nickname or something, but Boggy. Sounds kind of English. <laughs> I, I, hey boggy b-o-g-g-y i've never seen that i've never heard that that doesn't sound like a particularly endearing nickname when i think of a bog boggy bog right i think of, that's like a swamp it's like a dirty maybe this dude's a sweaty muddy, dude so maybe that's where it, he was fat and redhead he was a fat like oh he's small a red, like a small red and fat like small so red and better fat. Than, they probably used to call him swampy and he's like boy <laughs> Uh, Please don't call me swampy anymore. So he, he's boggy now because he's from a bog. He's a bog creature. He's a he's fat. A bog man. I do feel like if you're redhead, you're more a boggy than you are a swampy. Swampy, like I think of like I guess well no rednecks. There's a lot of red dead redheaded red you know rednecks, but I feel like swampy. You're like. I don't know, darker, darker, you know? Like, you're not, like, pale. Bog, like, he's kind of, was kind of redhead, that ginger pale, you know? So. He's boggy. I, I like a good sweaty ginger, by the way. There's funny when they oh. sweat. Like, like they're, it's just, like, it looks funnier when they do, because they look like they're dying. Like, when, when gingers sweat, <laughs> I don't know why. You ever notice that? Yes, they, they do. I think it might just be the paleness of their skin because they also just immediately turn red as well. Mm. Um, Foggy, so, though. Uh, maybe he was just a sweaty dude, but I do remember uh, we knew this guy from Nick, uh, this guy named Nick. He was from the UK. Um, he was a ginger, mm. and he was also a hairy gentleman to the, to the, pl to the point where, like, 
when you touched his shirt, his shirt like gave a little bit. Yeah, he got like he a padding so... in there. Like, tsh, tsh. yeah, yeah, yeah. And the hair on his body, also ginger. Yeah, my so yeah, he was like good. a almost like a ginger werewolf my brother isn't as hairy as me but he had hairy he has hairy ass legs and i remember as a kid like i've got crazy hairy legs it's a family trait or something but uh <laughs> but but yeah he's a redhead right and like like his hair over like when you get older like a lot of redheads like go more like an auburny like kind of like a brownie yeah. like like still like but he still has ginger coloring and yeah, that motherfucker's still like to this day, like all his like body hair is ginger as shit. Like it's the color of your yeah. shirt, Mike. It's 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 ridiculous. He's a, he's a red boy. And he and when he gets sunburned, he goes that color even more. I love a good sunburn ginger. Like a good <laughs> English at the theme parks or so, I see it all the time at the theme parks. Like a little ginger boy that is that is like the bright <laughs> ginger hair. Oh, and they didn't put so a he, pale. He got hit. The mom forgot to put on some sunscreen, like for five minutes, like while the kid yeah. was running outside he's or gonna something. Die. And and the kid is already just like, I mean, he's a he's lobster. Got, like, pock marks. He's, he's just a lob. He is just a fucking lobs. Oh, I feel so, I, I feel so bad, but I laugh so hard, you know, deep down. At, at, what I laugh, what I laugh super hard about is those people who have super hairy like appendages mm -hmm. but the hair not only is like their head hair curly their arm and leg hair oh, has also you're talking about like, all curl so all italian men all italian yeah they just yeah, got yeah, the yeah. curly hair because like all of my body hair is like fine and completely straight but other than my pubes my pubes are the only curly hair on my yeah, but they've got a full back of like tightly knitted pube hair. Like that's what you're talking about. Right? Yes, like, these dudes yeah, that yeah, just yeah. got like I have one the little wool strip sweater that's got like a slightly more hair than the rest of my body. Right. But yeah, the wool sweater dudes. I'm just like, you're how is your so so I feel it, like I would sh I would go I would pick myself clean every couple days. Wasn't it like in the seventies? Wasn't it like that was like a sex symbol-y type? thing? Thing for a it's, bit it was, like it's it, that greek look that the like greek very look. hairy like yeah masculine yeah, yeah, super yeah greek look yeah 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 not like jason momoa you know who's now no, like, he's he's got he's pacific islander he's yeah but he's got like a grooming routine for his hair he's hair or, i bet he's hairless nah samoa eh, samoans like he's, they're he's not, asian bro asians are not hairy Samoans aren't, or they're not really Asian. They're Pacific yes, Islander they... like type thing, aren't they? Well, it's not Asian. Like it's weird. Like they're a weird offshoot one. Asian. Yeah, they're offshoot, but they've like like the new <laughs> like the New Zealand. What are they? Um, the Maori and shit. Like they're like yeah, man. They're the same like thing. Like it's crazy. And you they're not very hairy, bruh. Because they were all up in them boats. Those motherfuckers, think about that. They just island, they're island hoppers is what they are. Like they wow, just, don't, if you say it like that, it sounds racist. <laughs> it's not, though. Like, Those I don't damn know. island hoppers. <laughs> them island hoppers that came over from the China, and then they went and they island hopped all the goddamn way to Hawaii. You know? I've it? never heard Hawaii said racist. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> Hawaii. <laughs> I like I like the I like putting an extra H in there. Hawaii, Hawaii. You know, you know I think that's well, it's because they it's because they got that W in there, and yeah, it you know, it's confusing. Classically, like to put an H right in front of the uh huh, w. uh huh. Baugi, my name is Baugi. <laughs> Baugi, <laughs> my name is Baugi. Ah oh, man, so I did uh, I did hear a great um like a, a a thing the other day. And it just all came from like a stupid like thread on the internet, but it was all about like creepy things that you can do that are totally legal, but just like more like <laughs> odd, just like odd, like that would creep you out. And I don't know why I found this so funny, but it basically getting in an elevator and not turning around. <laughs> <laughs> Like walking in and facing the back of the elevator. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you get in an elevator, you turn around and face the exit. Just getting in, <laughs> going up or down, and then not turning around. Sounds I'm, fun. 
<laughs> and then as soon as it gets there, then you turn around. But it's like it's I, like you I missed that bar. That. It's like I kind of want to do this now. I kind yeah. of want to try this experiment out. Sounds like fun. Yeah. If you're if you want something fun to try, listeners, just just do this. This may be making an experiment, and we can all report back later to see how it went. Like it, I mean, obviously it it doesn't really uh count or matter if there's no one else in the elevator with you with you you have to do it with preferably a fairly full elevator you know like to kind of just see what happens but yeah like just standing straight in the elevator going straight in i i want to try it have you done this mike i i've done it incidentally like You've been like the last person who gets into a crowded elevator, and there's just no room for you to like. That's different. That happens. That, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. That actually kind of happens, and you sort of stand like that sideways, weird position. But it's different. Uh, but though. I always look down, or like I try. I do not look at anybody in the face. Oh, but that's the thing too. Like I think when you're doing this experiment, try and like don't look down at your phone or anything. Just look. You have to look straight at the wall ahead of you. You can't be looking <laughs> at your phone. You just have to kind of just walk in casually and stand. Without yeah, you just have to have, like, we used to do this to each other, like, in class, where you just kind of, like, stare at someone with just, like, the, like, yeah, the I smile. Kinda, yeah, I, I, yeah, our, yeah, we used to, it was a weird way and, of, you were, you were that bored, you were, but you were communicating somehow, like. And they would just, eventually, it's like they it's could like a, feel you looking at, and they'd look, they'd look over at you, and you'd just be, like. It's dumb. a weird dead, it's hard to explain, but it's like a weird dead eye look, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's like if you if you saw like a stranger looking at you like that out in public, mm -hmm. it it would be like it would freak you out. So maybe that's that's my entry is a uh, creepy like dead eyeing people in public. Yeah, uh, it just reminded me. Uh, you ever heard of the wrestler Abdullah the Butcher? No. So he was a big fat black dude that wrestled in the seven. Like he really was. He I think he started probably in the sixties through like the nineties or two thousands. Like he's still alive. Uh, his he was famous for like basically stabbing himself in the head with a fork and like mm. cutting himself open very frequently. Uh, Abdullah the Butcher learned how to bleed early on, and he wasn't the best worker in the world, but he was also you know trying to make money, and he made a lot of it. Uh, but yeah, like his story, like he, he was one of these guys that was like kicked out of or left school, like dropped out of school in second grade was the, the story. <laughs> like, <didn't, laughs> only made it, you know, only made it through that, that first year, second, mm, uh -uh, and not doing that, done, 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 with, this done with this shit. Uh, that's what the, the legend is with him. But, uh, but no, he, so he, um, he had a thing where if you like fans saw him somewhere and they maybe wanted an autograph, he would scare them off in such a way. And it was like a signature look where he would just like, it's this like wide eyed thing. Like he doesn't make like a grizzled face or anything. It's just, he just goes like, has this look where he gives you this wide eyed stare. You like through your soul type thing. And he, it, it's a haunting look, you know, like mm -hmm. it's, you know, it, 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 it's like, okay. Like it would basically make, fans not want to approach him for an autograph it was his way of like the fuck away from me you know like but but, but also Leave was like alone but it was also like totally in character with like how nuts this dude was in the ring and all that too so, yeah. yeah i feel like that's kind of like the abdullah the butcher ty do you have any awkward like things that are i liked yours too mike what was that that's got to be yours, right? Sitting in a lawn chair is that and uh in your underwear yeah sitting in a lawn chair in your underwear Just, yeah uh casually <laughs> <laughs> casually on like my porch or something just in your underwear i do it work so well if you wear boxers but i think if you wear like tidy whities mm -hmm. you get maximum creep factor it's true it's uh, true i like you can can you get away with it i guess on pro yeah i mean there's you're on nothing... your own property yeah, you're covered you're, you're like, covered can do. yeah exactly yeah, yeah. I mean, it's undies. probably not the greatest thing but as long as you're genitals are covered they can't do anything to you and i you know I've what i've definitely gone outside my boxers but yeah i do it all the time yeah. I, yeah. dude I am i, I don't so own tidy whiteys so i don't know yeah when i yeah. when i first uh moved over here to orlando and i was living in the condo off of alafea um i remember there was a morning where i was smoking weed outside and i had taken the bowl in to like repack it 
and had left it inside, gone back out. In, I was just in my underwear, but normally that's fine. It's like seven in the morning. <laughs> out of nowhere, like several police officers are just like walking behind my condo and spot me on my porch and are like, hey, man, we need to ask you some questions. Well, while I'm in my underwear and it was kind of just like a can I I mean obviously like I'm okay with this on my own porch but I don't really want to like have a conversation with a bunch of police officers in my with, undies like, my fucking bell end showing yeah 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 like and they're asking me like sir have you been how long have you been outside I'm like a couple minutes to know. smoke the cigarette yeah. uh, I guess somebody had been like wandering around Alafaya nude and they thought it might have been me. Uh, I'm like, oh, no, man. You. I'm like, not a big nudie walker. It was totally not you. anymore. Although, why is that really illegal? You know, walking nudie? Yeah. I mean, why, I, mean I think is... they were, do I think they were wandering around like the six lane street that was Alafaya. I, I would feel because I was raised with clothes on, I would feel more comfortable to walk around with clothes on. But if it's, if someone does actually choose to walk around with no clothes on, I kind of don't think it should really be that big of a deal. As long as, like, if you're walking around with erections, yeah, that's probably an issue. Uh, like, wait, what's off wrong with everywhere. having a dude? Wait, what the well, fuck is wrong with walking around with an you, erection? You can't just be playing with yourself. You might, if you get like a rando, like, whoa, you know, How like, you know. <laughs> you know. Then that's the like if I emerge from an alleyway with a bonar, like okay. who the fuck's to know? You you can get a semi, but you can't get a full on. Like all right, and we'll <laughs> and we'll have penis cops out there, erection cops though, that are especially. Uh, there's gonna oh. go through erection training for this. What if I'm like? Oh, and what if I'm nude entirely except for like an elastic band around my waist, which I then tuck my full erection into? Fine. You're covered. You're 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 technically it's, yes. Your erection is covered. You're that's completely legal under the Owen erection. I mean, bill. you can still pretty much see my whole hard dick, but <laughs> that doesn't. It's, it's in a waistband. <laughs> oh, they got me. Um, but but yes, yes. Like I think what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to submit pre and post measurements to the government, right? Like it's like you know on your ID you have your height and weight and all that. I got so you're gonna have to be like what? we're gonna have to submit. Like, I gotta register my dick. yeah. You gotta register <laughs> your just like your flaccid, your hard, so that we I can, barely have to register a so gun in can this country, but I have like, to register my own penis. Uh, he's at a this seven. Is... Oh, he's at a seven. All right, he's like mm, okay, like you know, like there's there'll be a chart. You know, and and then because it will only be administered by male cops, we'll add a couple extra inches to our actual measurement, and the cops, they'll, you know, will understand. <laughs> they'll know. They'll know. Yeah, like, uh -huh. like they'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's and part of it. Be too. Like, they know that in like uh, the like the Northwest, guys generally tend to add like four, whereas like down here in the heat, guys generally only tend to add two because the heat kind of keeps everything kind of long. Yeah, yeah. We're it's all stretchy and stuff. Like it's it's a bad it's a bad situation, man. It's it's don't come to are you, Florida. Are you allowed to free rock if you're in a, like a wintry climate? Are you allowed yeah. to free rock however you want? Like yep. just because it's so cold, it doesn't matter. Yeah, you could have mm. a you could have a little sticker on there. You could have like a pasty, like a, just like a like a button cover, <laughs> you know, like you just put that on there. You're good to go. Like, you're fine. But no, I, I honestly like really, you know, it is kind of a stupid thing that we make such a big deal about nudity all kidding aside. Like it really doesn't seem that. You know, we're just we're, I'm not anti nudity, uh, but I still think like it's there's a difference between things where being allowed well, yeah. everywhere is so, fine. Yeah, but it's like we're so okay with like, you know, uh, you know, uh just violence, violence. and video games, yeah, and all that and like yeah, nudity is like is seen as almost like a bigger like, oh my god, they're corrupting the kids type thing than nudity. And that just doesn't make any fucking sense. Like that's just put put it that way, you know, like I understand not wanting to show like, you know, excessive sexual act, but sex is also a thing that like procreation's a thing. Like kids kinda like you have to see something eventually, you know, to figure <laughs> yeah. out what the fuck you're doing. I think that we should move the like Cinemax softcore window 
to like 6 p.m. Oh, bump it you can down. Start, yeah, you could start showing like softcore pornography. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At like at six. like 6 p.m. I like a nice casual. I actually, I think we should like start while you're a eating dinner. No, no, no. I think, yeah, that's good. Well, I like I like a good I spaghetti and porno. Spaghetti and porno is like it's spaghetti, <laughs> guys. It's family spaghetti and porno time. Let's let's do this. I want mom <laughs> glass to of milk. Pull the las- glass of milk. Oh, yeah. Pull the lasagna out of the oven, a little garlic a bread. nice slice, yeah, 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 and then watch a girl fake fillet a dude for yeah, like yeah, yeah. ten minutes. Yeah, that's it. That's what we're gonna do. Is that is, is that? Oh, should we not show that to everyone? I think. Oh, 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 so you can't oh, have. Oh, so the five year old can't eat, eat yeah. a lasagna and, and watch, watch watch some hardcore penetration. Like, well, no, 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 I didn't say uh, that. No, no, no. Oh, oh, wait, softcore, softcore. Okay, like the girl <laughs> watch some licking, pick. watch some licking some no, puss. I'm saying like, that's like, she, like I, I like that with my meatloaf. I like a good licking and puss. Well, mm. like the girl could be like grinding on the dude, but you never see insertion. Yeah, 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 yeah. I like a light. So gr- you could- I like grind in a satin um, lingerie, lingerie. You know, like, yeah. like, a, like I like a light grind, uh, heavy, like- pa- heavy, passionate kissing. You know, like, like garters. You know, yeah. um, your mom maybe made- a titty, maybe a titty suck here and there. Yeah, like you your know? mom made a really nice chicken rice broccoli bake, mm-hmm. and Ooh. you watch that. And then watch an interracial uh, softcore porno scene. Porno meatloaf that's, is the name of the show. Like I, I, I don't know, I don't know what else to call yeah. it. <laughs> like porno meatloaf is a uh, is the name of the I'm show. I'm Hallmark. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. If anything, that's the most progressive thing that I've ever even heard. I like the idea of like instead of Saturday morning cartoons, you know, Saturday morning anal or something. Like we can just like step it up a notch. Like, like on on Saturday morning like you can show some uh, some hardcore yeah, stuff. Yeah, just a little yeah, you go a little further like a like just a tip type thing, you know. Well, like, like on Saturdays you could show like bukake. Oh damn. They, well, it's the, it's international. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's international day. <laughs> Oh God, we're a little men- a menage a trois, a bukake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I uh, we, mean, we'll find some Latin American sex move. I'm sure they do. Ha- they have a couple. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, and that. You oh, can I've show seen them. them. Oh, I've seen them. <laughs> I've seen them. <laughs> Brazilian fart porn. Okay. Yeah. So you... Or just like cake farts. Let's put let's put cake farts on mm. on Saturday mornings. You know, good old fashioned cake fart. Can we um like or on just put Sunday... on Japanese those Japanese porno game shows that are weird you know where like you don't know if you're sucking off you... like your dad or your brother or like the hot dude like you know, like it's like <laughs> they the... stack the deck against you to yeah. suck the hot dude or, yeah or like your finger it's, it's, in it's your... always like yeah. hot dude and then nine <laughs> dudes you're related to yeah you, there's only one dick in there that's not your blood yeah that's what have those... fun. Yeah, like you're, you end up banging your mom somehow. Like it's just, it's all a trick, and they find they think it's hilarious because like you penetrated oh, your mother. Oh, you <laughs> fucked your mom! Yeah. Oh no, that's such a that's a bad stunt. I don't like corn meatloaf though. You guys can pull corn a lot meatloaf. of tricks on me, but if you guys pulled that one, I'm not sure I can be your friends. Like I'm not. <laughs> I, I'll be honest. How long think, do you not talk to us? Oh, and I like you know that people say about me like, oh, what's your line? I don't really. I think that's my line. I think that's that. If my friends tricked me yeah, into yeah. Uh, fucking my mom's yeah, butt, yeah, 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 I would probably. I think that's. I'd probably kill myself. I'd kill you. I'd kill my mom. I would. I would. Uh, and, and that what would about be. The ca- what if? What about the cameraman who just like got hired because we needed a cameraman? <laughs> oh, yeah, that's me. That's yeah. That's me. Steve, <laughs> why did you let this happen? Sorry, Steve. <laughs> oh, I mean that's all hypothetical. Of course, uh, that's not. No, that's not. Do that's that. That's never happened Please. on a Japanese game show. That's some of that weird shit has though. Some of that weird shit really has. That's absolutely crazy. Um, so um, I want to talk briefly about catalytic converters because guess what? Guess whose car is back in the shop? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wait, so, did they steal yours? Um, no. Um, but I think it's been punctured or something, and then um, 
like bondoed over or some shit. Like some 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 somebody bullshit. tried to steal it. Somebody has bullshitted with that. Not like since I bought it, but before I bought it, I just something that we didn't like really check thoroughly on, right? And um, and yeah, there's some like bullshit repair done to it. So that's another thing. So the question is like, um, and I look, I've looked this up. I think I'm just gonna like bypass the catalytic converter now and go straight pipe it. I'm just gonna straight pipe it. it and yeah, uh, man, because nothing, earth. nothing says luxury like your car <laughs> just. <laughs> Because that's what it's gonna sound like, bro. You can't delete that. Your car, you're gonna straight pipe it. You're gonna straight pipe it back to your fucking muffler. Maybe it probably won't be as bad as you think, though. Yeah. Like... No, the muffler is gonna help a lot. But if you cut out your cat, you, I mean, you're I mean, also gonna. It's have already a fucked problem. up. It sounds like a goddamn lawnmower. It's like, brrr, like it's like it's and the engine's oh, fine. It's not the engine. It's already it. fucked up. Like so. I'm like, well, what's straight the... Pipe it. It's a it straight pipe header. it. <laughs> like, it might as well Just be better. Cut it at the header, bro. Dude, I'm thinking about rolling down to Kissimmee and having one of my shady Mexican friends take care of this issue. <laughs> Do you have any, like, reputable Mexican friends? No. Because every Mexican friend no. you talk about is... It's the only ones I hang out with. It's the only ones that hang out with me is the shady ones. They're the best ones, though, because they're, they're I love a good shady Mexican. I grew up with them. We're big. Polk, Polk County is full of them. Like, I love a good shady Mexican. They're my friends. Like we get I, I get them. They get me. They're better than like the high falutin Spanish like people. I'm like, fuck them. Like, I like a good shady Mexican. Twelve, 12 house, 12 people to a three bedroom house. That type of deal, you know? <laughs> See, I grew up with six a cars, bit of that. six cars outside, washing machine in the front yard, mm-hmm. tire see, swan, tire swan planter. Those, see, are, those are my type. It's not yes. weird, Ellen, because I grew up with that. Because in the trailer park, every year around orange harvesting season, because we had so many orange groves Good nearby, people. yeah, the there would be a trailer that would get rented every year by the same like group of Mexicans, and there was probably. 12 to 14 guys mm. all dudes living in one trailer that's yeah, sad and... it's sad all kidding inside that's fucking that sucks man well it's what they do to just make money, survive man. yeah and they they send all of it back home right i i do believe that's most how the, of it that system works yeah, like yeah. They, they spend enough to like keep themselves afloat like, for a few months or whatever and they send yeah, it back they to the send family every bit, and... bit of it back mm-hmm but literally, I always thought it was kind of cool because every day when we'd ride our bikes around the trailer park, like in the afternoon, they'd all be hanging out and like eating chips and drinking beers like out in the front yard and like hanging out. I'm like, bro, these, these guys, guys are, are living the life. hanging out. <laughs> yeah, because you didn't see how <laughs> early they got up cool. and how hard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, because I went to school. I would go to yeah. school during the day and like on the weekends. They didn't go to work. No. They, they, get they hung out off. in the yard all day. Yeah, they had the life. And, They're like, oh, yeah, and yeah, so yeah, yeah. in my mind, I always thought like, bro, these Mexicans are coming over here and like taking all the best jobs. <laughs> like they have the life. <laughs> bro, they're coming over here and just fucking hanging out. That's like, awesome. Yeah, I want to be Mexican. Cool. I want to be Mexican. I'm like, whatever they're doing is what I want to do because that life yeah, just yeah. looks fucking sweet, looks bro. Awesome. Yeah, little do you know, um, little do you know, they're busting their ass so goddamn hard mm-hmm. at a construction site, at a at early as fuck, or a, an orange harvesting grove. Harvesting agriculture. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, doing hard ass shit in the hot ass sun all yeah. day with probably, like, like, um, like, their break, what they consider a break is the amount of time it takes to, like, quickly pee on my porch and be done. Like, that's what their yeah. break is. Like, shh, wrinkle. On the onward, you know, like they don't get breaks. They might get they a are, lunch, maybe, if <laughs> maybe sometimes. They are definitely not living. Um, I guess they're, they're not, not living, living the, the Vita Loca. They're not living the dream, Owen. But uh, you know what is great about dreams, Owen? What fucking them? No. Well, yes. When when you uh, yeah. when you tell people to fuck their dreams, mm-hmm. but guess what, guys? I might have just figured out one of my oldest dreams. I believe this I wrote a dream this in the dream. 
You're gonna no, t- this are you is... going to tell us about a dream like that you slept and had that like that? <sighs> no, no, no. You guys remember when I told you about the dark, um, the dark game? I s- remember seeing in my dreams that I <laughs> have never been able. I to don't find really. If it was real. I don't remember this honestly. This must have been a while ago. <laughs> okay. okay. So no, I'm I back believe... in. I'm back in now. Was okay. this a dream? So <laughs> hang on. What what's going on here? For the longest time, I, I'm pretty sure I dreamt it, um, but I might have just seen it like late night when I was like half asleep on TV. Ah. But there was this game I saw where they would load a dart in like a bird, like a wooden bird's mouth, and then swing it at a, like a slanted I... dartboard. Okay, I vaguely remember you. Sp- Saying something about this wasn't it during the like the last Winter Olympics or some shit? Was it? No, I I had always thought like I could never find it and I could never like yeah, figure you out describe, what it's You try to was. describe it. Describe it one more time. Sorry, I interrupted you. Describe it one more time. So it's basically a wooden like bird, and they put a dart in the bird's beak, and then they like you know they position it uh-huh. and they <laughs> let it go, and it swings, and it hits a dartboard that's slanted so that like. You know, in the swing yeah, yeah, yeah. path, it would come up and like and, they, pos- and post the dart uh-huh. and then s- and swing back, and they would catch it and load it for the next round thing. or whatever. Yeah, I didn't know what it was, and I've never been able to find it on the internet to confirm that like this that isn't you're a not dream. having a fever dream, basically, like that you imagine something because <clears throat> this is bizarre. This is bizarre. I I, I had never heard of anything like this. Is well, it, I found it. You're telling me it's real. It's real. This is your aliens right now. This is yes. your. This is your. <laughs> so every now and then, I I type in darts played with a with a swinging bird <laughs> with dogs, or yeah, a, a dog, a duck, or something. Yeah. <laughs> so I I typed it in last night, like after no. I got out of work and everything. No, because I had been talking to my boss about like this dream dart game that I've always imagined but could never find. Well, I went home and typed it, and I, I, found I don't it. know how I you searched, but I found it, and it's called. I'll pull it up right here. I'll pull it up. It's called Struifvogel, Struifvogel, or uh, I. It's a Flemish game. Struifvogel, Struifvogel, probably yeah, something like yeah. that. So basically, Struifvogel is the bird. Common it's a, ostrich. It's it says a uh, common. It's aus- flight, yeah. It's like a flightless uh, bird. Co- like Stroifvogel, I think, is the name of of what they call an yeah. ostrich. Yeah. So they take these wooden birds I'm and they imagine. load a dart in them, and they're suspended on a wire or a cable. And you know, once they got the dart all locked in there, they pull the bird back and they aim it. at this slanted dart board. I, and they let the bird go. Yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm I, all right. I'll um I'll do a share real quick so that the people at home and can, the goal of the this. game is to just like darts is to get your dart, I guess as close to the tar the bullseye, center of the target as you can. So yeah, I'm just pulling up Google Images because that's like gonna give you a decent idea but, of what's going on over here. If you give me two, seconds. you don't push it though. You release it. Yeah, I think you 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 just pull it back and just release it. I think maybe it's against the rules to kind of like give it a little huh, give it a little thrust. Yeah, I don't know. But I but I again like I I just found it and I was like this is this right, is the so... game I've always been like talking about. Like yeah. look okay. look he's got like a little duck with a fucking dart in its mouth yeah, and I that. think the one you're hovering over. That, yeah. that thing oh. like there's that thing like this is some weird fucking shit yeah like that there's like a goddamn I mean, hole i i love some darts <laughs> i'm 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 game <laughs> I, yeah, yeah, yeah i don't we, know we I, need that's the tar build... that's like one of the dart boards right there for it so. we need to build a wow. streifvogel a strike horse Cor- yeah yeah i get yeah we can this doesn't look that hard uh, and, our, that and w- once we get this bitch built, we start taking it around to bars and start and make making a million money. dollars off of playing. Hey, you ever heard of S- Strife Vogel? Well, tonight you're about to play it for <laughs> 10 bucks a pop. So it, look, know? it says Strife Vogel Matsupu de Kroon. 
bro, this looks. They're, they take this, this shit looks serious. Fucking cool, dude. It does look cool, and I'm glad that you found it. Um, let me see. But I'm so let happy that quick. it's let not. Let me go to YouTube. Let me go to YouTube. Let me see. Let me see what what uh, pulls up on YouTube real quick. Since I already got it, already. There. I wonder if they make their own birds. It. I mean, it does look like you kind of. That's part of the like the hand the, the novelty of the game is like you might carve your own bird. Sounds kind of fun. All right, let's see. Uh, damn it. No, oh, you're getting a bunch a lot of, of ostrich, ostrich content. Uh, um, game, maybe. Game. Strife Vogel, type in Strife Vogel D. Kroon. D E. Uh, there's a lot uh, of things pull, getting pulled up, though, here. Let me go with some. Situ- no, that's definitely just ostrich stuff. Uh, hang on, hang on. Uh, no. Fucking ostriches getting in the way. Ah, uh, <laughs> what about Strike Vogel Dark Game? Uh, we're, oh, wait, uh, nope, because they're just showing you games about game. birds. <laughs> yeah, bird games. I don't want to do that. Oh, Strike Vogel. <laughs> oh man, I can see why this was hard for you to find. I can see right? why this was like a challenge. God damn, these ostriches keep mm. popping up. I've got to see one now. Mm. Fucking this guy. Mm. Ugh. Mm. Ugh. <laughs> well, that ostrich got a neck. I don't like. Mm. I don't think I like mm. ostriches. Mm. No. How do you feel about? I'm out. Uh, I'm, I'm out. I don't like them. They're aliens. You can have them. You can if you want some. Take them all. Take all the goddamn. Yeah. Fine. That's fine. Just you know. But yeah. Le- so, I mean, leave us our porno meatloaf, and we'll be good. <laughs> leave me my Saturday morning anal and. <laughs> Okay, we'll be fine. Jesus. But I'm just so happy that it's not a fever dream. It's no, a real game. That's hilarious. And I'm going to figure out a way to play this, and we're going to start getting good at yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, and, and it would be, you're not wrong. Like, that would be the, like, if you could make a, uh, like, a, a little, you know, trailer setup for that and get people to play it and, like, see what it's all about. Like, that could easily be, like, pull it up to a bar and make, you know, a few hundred bucks in a night, like type thing. Or, dude, just like, tell people like five bucks. You yeah, get to yeah. take a, you get to take a shot. If you hit the, you hit the target, I buy you a drink. Dude, I'm, I'm telling you, you just make cash upon cash. Yeah, upon yeah. Cash. absolutely, absolutely. Um, I like, yeah. Thank you for bringing that up. Um, hmm. I um, I was I, I've been having like some sort of like work woes, and me, you know, I felt like I felt like a real old man this week. Is a uh, factory. A, a, yep. The because fa- you're an old man. Uh, yeah. And uh, a friend of mine, well, work friend of mine, work colleague, who's also been going through it, decided to, it's the first time we ever hung out. I got really outside of work. And, uh, you know, we had to get. I thought you just said on God. And I was like, is this work friend like 22? Uh, oh, no. Sorry. Sorry. No. Uh, no. I first time like, we hung out outside no. of work. I don't know what the hell I was like. We went I didn't hung realize out on that God. was like for real. Like kids, kids in my work say that. A what? lot, and I'm like, where did on that God? come from? Yeah, I never heard that. That's not what it, I was. It, it's it's that... like a, it's a qualifier for seriousness. Oh, yeah, no, that's not, it's not what I said, and I didn't even know what the hell that means. But no, um, so anyway, I, I fucking, we, we were two old men that had to meet up and have a couple drinks to talk about the stuff going down. Talk about how everyone at the mine hates you. Yeah, pretty much. Well, something oh, like that. Oh, uh, the bosses. I don't know. Um, giving you enough respect. The, the little man. I was going to get pushed down by the big man. About our gerbs. And, hey, um. Dicker. Yeah. One of them types of things, right? So we're over there at the Irish pub. We've all been to the Irish pub. It's a fantastic place. It's the place of wonder. And we're sitting at the bar and we're discussing things and. Somehow, um, the topic of bagpipes comes up, and I was explaining somehow drunkenly that, uh, to my friend that, you know, in the movie Braveheart, the, uh, you know, about, you know, the Scottish Revolution, you know, that, like, famous theme song is, uh, you know, that one, and uh, yeah, yeah, he's like, that's actually Irish bagpipes. Playing that, not Scottish bagpipes. 
which is a true which is a true fact and it's something i've just known for a long time and i was just like whatever it's a random, part of a random. one just trots out that yeah. little bit of knowledge to his new buddy he's like i've got a nugget that'll wow him but but you know what the, the thing is i've known this guy for forever it wasn't like that it was just because it, there was another story involving bad pipes it went on to whatever but the woman sitting next to us she obviously didn't like she's like She's butting in on our conversation and obviously like over eavesdropping, which is easy to do when you're sitting next to somebody at a bar. That's kind of an understood thing. That's sort of fine. But she like didn't listen to all of it and only listened to a portion of it. And she was had to felt the need rather to correct me to tell me that um, uh, that, that bagpipes were Scottish and that Braveheart was about Scotland. Yeah. No shit. Lady. Yeah. No shit. You, that's what I just. Fu- that's what I was fucking saying. Like, it, I don't know. It, it was. I guess what I'm trying to say it was just like an irritating thing of somebody. Bitch, mind your own business. Like, I understand you feel like you, you're trying to like correct me on like some his- history, but like what I said was completely right, and you're not, you're refuting something I didn't even fucking said. So mind your own business, you dumb fucking cunt. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Yeah, I didn't say that, Plastic but I wanted to, up. but I wanted to. I did. I should have. Uh, like, I just, fuck off, you know? It's, it's, it's what I, Goddamn kids. No, it's just, no, she's like, she's like maybe a couple years older than me, like trying to like, I don't know. Trying I'm to show you me, up? Try, yeah, trying to show me up. I don't like that. That's, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need that. Obnoxious woman, too. Very obnoxious woman. Yeah, it is what it is. Things have been all right, and I, I will say that uh, you know after that night, it, I did realize how uh, how interesting it is again to hang out with like a lightweight drinker. <laughs> like uh, <laughs> like when I'm used to all you motherfuckers, like and everybody I hang out with, like you know put them back. You know? Our drinking, <laughs> like, we can we can put them back. Like everybody I know, you know, whatever. You know, three, three, two, I had like two beers, three beers. Like, he's the guy's fucking like sloshed. <laughs> it's yeah. like, oh, it, it always makes me smile too. It's like, it's, what? Oh, that was two beers. Yeah, that was two beers. He's like yelling and he's like, it's like, you know, he's not, being, he's not being obnoxious or anything. He's just like, he's lost like the ability to modulate his like volume. And <laughs> he's like, just, like, okay. I love it. Dude, yeah. that's what happened uh, the last. Like the last time, it was probably like two days before I I quit Marlowe's my last day. Mm-hmm. Um, everyone was like, I I got off like at a regular time, like seven thirty eight o'clock, and caught everyone as they were you know gathering to leave, and like, hey Mike, like you you know you're not gonna be around any longer, so do you want to like come hang out with us? And like throughout the two years I had been there, I had like had a drink before leaving or but very you know, rarely would you have like hung out with them type deal yeah so they're like you know come hang out with us like you know y- you never have and i'm like well because you guys aren't really my like, type of people that i want to hang out yeah. with yeah yeah i'm like we're not really friends so it makes <laughs> yeah. perfect sense that i that i wouldn't want to really hang out right, with right, you right yeah that's fair um the people i wanted to hang out with from work i hung out with it just happened like that so yeah we went out to a bar here locally and you know i i got a drink and within like a minute and a half i'm just like okay all right. so I, I got to like five or six drinks and i'm like all right like i'm starting to have yeah. a little bit of fun maybe these people aren't so bad yeah but people are just like Jesus Christ, this guy's the fuck, dude. Like, what are you doing? Because I'm also like, hey, I'm going to get another drink. Like, does anybody yeah, want yeah, one? They're like, dude, you're like, I'm, I'm like halfway through my first. Like, like yeah, yeah, I'm like, <laughs> oh man, they just they pour them so they pour them in these little tiny glasses, and it's mostly ice, you know. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, 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 there's yeah. barely any liquid in these things. <laughs> I need the liquid. Give me the liquid. Yeah, I. You know what? And I. I I never am the shitty guy that's like, oh, just, you know, I don't want any ice, just liquor and mixer. And no. then when they give you, like, your shot, I'm never the guy who's like, oh, that's barely any. 
I do. I will just take the glass with no ice. Please, you know what? Everything's cold. Everything you put in the glass. I like the ice. Is fucking though. cold. I like the ice. Uh, I don't yeah, need I it. Like I don't need like it. The ice. I like the ice. If I'm already getting, usually it's whiskey and water. The water's fucking cold when you put yeah, it in the glass. No, you are you man. You have that's not classy. Throw like throw a cube of ice. Two cubes. That's nah. it. That's <laughs> <laughs> gets in the way gets in the way like you can't like, shoot it you can't like properly see i guzzle a drink if there's all that fucking ice in man, there and, and what are you why are you diluting why are you diluting your whiskey man just if you're gonna drink it neat drinkability it neat, just drink it neat just throw it back. oh you know how hard it is to just pour whiskey down your mouth when you no, mix it with water i do it a lot go, <laughs> I do it. I do that. I you work. can drink it so much faster when there's a l bunch of water in it. Yeah. I'm no, I, I I will not say a bunch is good, but water does open the fucking it, like it's when I when I have like a like an actual old fashioned, not a Wisconsin old fashioned. Just a little bit of water. Just, Wait, what are they putting in a Wisconsin? Yeah, that's why you put the, That's why you just put it on skirt. ice. That's why you put it on ice. So it just sits yeah. there, and like that water, that ice becomes that water, and that's what you're doing. Like you're just drinking. Yeah. Like it'll make you slow down if you don't get the water. You just get some ice and you just sip on it, motherfucker. Ty, I imagine a Wisconsin old fashioned. Instead of like bitters, they just put one cheese curd in there. They just <laughs> I, I wish that was the case. That's I'd right. always get it that it's way. Bake, it's Shit. bake. It's bacon grease. It's just one little drop no, of bacon. Uh, one pump. <laughs> you know, it's funny because it's so like normal. Like it's such a thing. Like people don't realize it's not like a real old fashioned. Uh, it is. They they do. <laughs> they smash the fruit. They put in a sugar cube. Of bitters. And they use like usually it's squirt or it's either sweet or sour and and yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. But that, it's like a is it like a sour mix type thing like they they're using, no like, sour or... mix is different it's more like mm. like soda lemon soda lime water. soda okay. oh yeah okay okay it's a, well it doesn't sound like a terrible old fashioned it's I've, not bad no, it it's still good but what, I what is what is the exact recipe what is what do you consider to be like the definitive old fashioned it's like it's, whiskey bitters sugar i've had like one in my life i want to say yeah. not an old, i think I'm, that's I'm, it i honestly think that's, that's it that's really it that's like, all you really need just those right yeah there. just you just simple... need whiskey bitters and a little bit of like simple syrup a she dash of I, like I always think of it like a dash of orange or something, some a dash of citrus or some shit. Like it's what I've always. Most of the time, the bitters are citrus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in nature, right. so they just. Um, I don't know. Yeah, it's that's again like. I'm not really when I was a big like going out to the bar after work drinker. I was very much like, whiskey and ginger, uh, whiskey and water, whiskey and diet, whiskey and coke. Like, did that forever i was just drink mixer i i didn't like to be complicated if the only time i drank complicated drinks is when other people were like hey we're getting green tea shots do you want one too and i'm like yeah why not like, most complicated thing i really ever order is a uh, pickleback just because like, <laughs> yeah probably like, like i i hate like having to have someone bring me out two glasses for a fucking little shit of, of you know Pickle juice, but I do love. I do love it. It does work. Like they a are good. A Jameson just and with the chaser, like I love it, man. Like it's. I'm it's not, oh, and I'm not gonna lie. We uh we ha we serve big whole pickles at my job right now. Mm. Um, and we went through the the bucket of pickles today, uh, and I was pouring out the juice, that, and yeah. I you took a sip. I poured, didn't you? Oh, you yeah, took I a poured sip. myself just a little bit, yeah, yeah. And <laughs> shot a little bit of pickle juice, and I was like, man. Never gets bad. Never, never bad. Thing. I'm, I'm, I'm weird with um apple cider vinegar. I can drink that shit. Like I love. Mm. I can drink that, apple that cider. That is a weird one. Yeah, it's but it's it's that kind of same thing. It's like that. Ooh, that just like the extreme. Like ooh, wow, that's acidic. You know, like it, it'll. <laughs> like, but it's like it's like battery. I, I can drink that shit. A little, you know, like. <laughs> It's I good. think it sets me off weird because of the the smell, like the smell oh, kind of it. like rocks my nose. Before you can I use it, it to clean your countertops, and you can yeah. drink it. Like it's it's one of them things. You know? I'm pretty sure it just cleans your inside, honestly. Might I mean uh, maybe that's why uh, you know I'm so skinny. It just it takes flushing <laughs> everything out. Yeah. 
Um, I don't know. I, we, we skipped over it a little bit. I just did want to <clears throat> go back very briefly to the uh, the whole catalytic converter conversation because I know like I'm missing something and I feel like one of you or both of you can educate me on it. There's a drug connection with stealing catalytic converters. What is it? There's not. They just sell uh, them. <clears throat> the, drug, the drug thing is that they buy drugs with the money. Um, there are rare metals inside of your catalytic converter. That I converter, knew. Okay, that like I knew. palladium. Yeah. So what they do is they're worth money and they just sell them and I... they get the money for them and then they buy <laughs> See, drugs. Okay, okay. See, I, I, this is a, a, a very, you know, similar thing to what you were saying about, like, that, uh, what the hell is the name of the game? Stroyd Vogel. Um, like, where you were, like, you did you imagine this or whatever? I feel like I've seen a Vice documentary about how there's chemicals that people smoke from catalytic converters to get high. You looking it up? <clears throat> yep. See if see if I'm nuts. I feel like there was this like I saw like this thing on Vice, like just you know on YouTube, one of them like oh. fifteen minute. You found something? Um. Let's see. A new craze for a drug derived from crushed vehicle exhaust filters. Yeah, that... that's probably what it was. Something like that. It's fucking nuts. Mm. It's gross. It's like that stuff. Wasn't it the whole thing with like? Yeah. Um, basically, you you crush up the fine powder. I oh. I thought it was they were just literally selling it to no. get drug money. See, I, that's what the whole thing is. It's like I thought that at first too, but then I started but also, like. But apparently, the drug is also hyper toxic, so you can't even barely do it. Sounds pretty rad, man. Sounds good for me. Yeah, no, sounds awful. But what's obviously. the high like? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, it might be fucking awesome. So who knows, so, bro? Like, give it a shot. You don't know if you tr don't try. Like, it might, you might love it. Like, duh. It might well, be okay, great. He, okay, here's how I know that it's like gotta be just slightly better. It's because everywhere they do this shit is like the Congo. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's, well, it's the like, same places the that do are... all that weird shit. Like, cause there was a drug that like had a nickname, which is basically like ferment, uh, snort or sniffing or what do you call it, huffing, um, fermented feces was one. That's that, that, jankum. Yep, jankum. And then there was that. There's a. It's in a bunch of movies, right? Like Lord of War or whatever, where it was the whole like thing where they would uh, give them. I I think it was like a mixture of cocaine and gunpowder. And, oh, wow. uh, yeah, yeah, like they really amp them up. Yeah, like the gunpowder supposedly really gave them that, got them to that next level. You know, give a bunch. No, of... it's just they they were too cheap to yeah. waste all their. They had a lot of gunpowder, so they're like, fuck it. And not know. not as much cocaine. Good cutting right? agent, right? Exactly. Just, yeah, it was pretty much. You're right. Um, it was. I know best. that they're like, there's a couple drugs like in the Congo, like in some of these like African countries right now, where it's like. They're basically just taking a bunch. It's like they're they're fi they finally got to like Sudafed, so now they're just like taking shitloads of because it's not illegal. Oh, now it's meth. Basically, they're just, they're just like they're all on speed type thing. Like yeah, they're all just taking a bunch of Sudafed and like Fuck. every everyone's got like hands full of like the little red pills and they're just like popping Sudafed all the fucking time. They're I don't like even know the story of how they discovered this catalytic murder shit though. Like right. who 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 did that? <laughs> yeah. What was the pioneering story behind Ty, this? Who was the first guy who like found marijuana and was like Better That's smoke a fucking this. plant that grows yeah, outside. That I makes feel, sense. It, it actually <laughs> does. It actually does because they would like if it was growing, it was growing wild. Someone eventually probably threw a browning one on a fire and they got this intense smell and they were like, Ooh. What is that? Oh. You know, like, that smells mm -hmm. different. Anybody else kind of high? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, 
<laughs> then they burn more and more of it, and then some guy figured out like how to make like a little pipey thing, and then they were like, okay, how good. directly, dude. Can you imagine being like the first caveman who like <laughs> figured out smoking out of like a you discovered the pipe? Yeah, he he's and, I, I, he's well, that is the the character that Phil Hartman played, right? Like the the caveman that were uh, the that was like the oh, eloquent yeah. <laughs> eloquent elegant caveman in on SNL. Like he's there. He's, you know, he's got his like pipe. He's got his monocle on and his robe, and he's still a caveman. And he's there. He's like, "Yep, I figured it out." It's, it, it, see this? There's a hole there. There's a hole there. There's a hole there. See that? Yeah, look at that. This is, this is how it works. We're gonna call this a carb. We're gonna call this a carb We're gonna, we're gonna but yeah, dude, Like you're the first dude who figured out like how to a smoking device, and you show up at another tribe who's just been like. Puffing it out of a bowl. Oh yeah, this guy's just like, uh, 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 no, he's like, uh, 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 and shows them how to do it. <laughs> and shows everybody how to make one. Uh-huh. And now, <laughs> grind it up, grind it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Man. Dude, you'd be so cool if you were the first hothead caveman. He didn't like probably first... catch many things though. He was probably he was probably pretty... not long for the world. No, no, no. Oh. He figured that one thing out, but that was probably yeah, about he's, it. He's good. That's probably yeah. <laughs> he just he concentrated on that the rest of the time. He was and, happy and he forgot. Was happy. Or, I guess back then, no, no, like, maybe your whole your whole day was just like trying to survive. Everyone's just really pissed at like Ugo who won't leave like he just he's been sitting under that tree smoking that plant for days he won't help anyone we're not feeding him this time that's it we're calling it quits Mm. what the hell is that supposed to mean owen's like one of them npc streamers what does that mean is that i think that's an insult you you say i have no personality does that mean you're an AI? I don't know. AI, Maybe I'm an AI. Maybe uh, oh, all, all that, that grunt, grunt, all that oh, grunting. Oh, saying all the grunting. Oh God, it was thought. Of, Jesus Christ! Like, <laughs> um, God, why are you still uh, tuning in? I mean, yeah. mm-hmm. now it's speaking of which, this NPC streamer needs to uh, take a little pee break, get off the air for a few minutes, and come back with a little bit of Oh No 2.0. Uh, where we will, yeah, do, yeah, we'll do some like clips and you know, the, you know the things that we do over there. Where you know, it gets, always gets a little weird over there, right, Mike? Oh, it's always weird in the second half of the yeah. show. Give us some plugs or something. All right, guys. So if you're really liking what you're hearing, we would really ask that you head over to our Patreon, Patreon.com/slash ONRS Live. Nope. Just, just Patreon.ONRS, baby. So, yeah, it's just slash ONRS, and you can head over there. Just shoot us a couple bucks, and you get all kinds of premium content, interviews with the cast members and our friends, Drunk Driving on the Moon, which is me and Owen's conspiracy show before other people were doing conspiracy shows. Samantha. It's fine. And we barely ever do that. It's fine. Well, and she does it better. So. <laughs> and she does. It Anyways. Way uh, if you like that, please head on over to our Patreon and throw some cash. It helps us pay for everything we do here at the yeah, studio and do it for Oh No. It's tough, man. Like, uh, it's tough when you got a full time job and you're trying to do this all, you know, every week and you still got a wife and you still got, you know, trying to have a life to, to you know, you got to make time for these types of things. And that's where I have to do a lot of the work. So any additional just couple of bucks really, really helps out. Yeah. I still have to, you know. You know, I'm I'm barely in the black here when it comes to basically paying for this thing and paying for what it costs in energy and what it costs in, you know, hosting bills and all that type of stuff. Yeah. So any little thing you can do helps. And uh, if you've got one of them Amazon subscriptions, one of the biggest thing you can do for free for us is you can use that to get one free Twitch subscription every single month. And they got to re-sign up for it every single month. Uh, so make sure we get that money because it like will just only be there and you gotta gotta do it again to so set an alarm or something. But that you can do over at O uh sorry, twitch.tv slash O N R S live. Uh subscribe is. to our stuff and just kind of throw it in there. That would be greatly, yeah. greatly yep. appreciated. Yep. Um 
And if you want to interact with us on a little more personal level, you can head over to Facebook.groups slash... Facebook.com slash groups slash... Oh, no radio. Oh, no radio show. Yeah, and you can interact with us there. You can post things on our wall. Tell us the things you want to hear about. I don't think they call it a wall. No one calls we'll it a wall. No one calls it a wall. They don't call it a wall, Mikey. No one calls it. It's the wall. It's not a wall anymore. That was like 20 years ago. Anyway. Feed. You know what we say when we get out of here for the first segment, boys. Fuck your, your dreams. dreams.
if uh, you're just tuning into the second, uh, you know, part of our week, uh, welcome to Oh No 2.0, baby. Uh, here we are. If you're on Twitch, thanks for staying with us, by the way. Uh, yeah, you can find all this live. You know, we start about 8.30 on Thursdays or sometimes 9 or sometimes whenever. Just find us in the Facebook group and we'll help you out with that. But either way, you can get all this live in one chunk over there on uh, twitch.tv slash ONRS live. And, uh, and 2.0 is, of course, the portion of our show and the second dose of Ono for the week where things tend to get a little bit more weird. Do they not, Mike? Oh, it's about to get real weird. That usually, usually does. Before we take a magical trip with Mikey, I do want to uh, talk about a wheelchair conundrum I've got. All right. And uh, <laughs> are I, you in a wheelchair? I am not in a wheelchair, and I feel bad for people that are in wheelchairs. And I see them all around my factory, my place of work, and there's a long, a lot of long distances. That some of these wheelchair people that are, you know, just fucking, they're wheelies, man. They're, they're doing it themselves, right? You know, they're moving forward. They're doing their thing. But, fucking man. lazy cripples. Well, <laughs> there's a couple, like, like everything is, of course, has to be like that, what is it, ADA compliant, right? So, of course, wheelchairs can get through, and everything's got, everything is like that. But, man. I see some of these, like, small, like, hills and shit. Like, not hills, but, like, little inclines. They've got to go up or whatnot. And I saw one. And he must have had a hard day at work. And I think this guy had, like, cerebral palsy. So he's already, like, kind of, like, he's got, like, the shaky shakes, you know? Like, he's, like, and, yeah, he's like that. But he's, like, you know, he's doing the thing. And he's moving up this hill. And he's, like, really struggling, like, to, and he, like, to get up this thing. And... I don't know what the best like cause of actions do. My you're initial... almost laughing right now, Owen. <laughs> so your cause is not strong. Whatever it's, you're about uh, to do, because it makes me uncomfortable. Because I don't know. Because I don't know what to do in this situation. I'm behind him. You let the motherfucker struggle. Okay. Well, How first, else is he gonna get through life? First, he's holding me up a little bit because he's going so slow up this hill. Like I can, like, like he really, like. You can't I'm, walk around him? Well, I'm off the clock. I just clocked out. I'm walking out of here. I'm trying to get out of this bitch. And this guy's in front of me, right? So, kind of, my first reaction is like, oh, I should just run up behind him and push him up the hill. Like, and I'm like, that, oh. That's the first reaction. That's my first, when it goes through my head first. I should just run up behind him. Like, oh, it's Owen's the same first reaction. reaction was actually, hey, dead legs, need a push? Okay, you know Ty, you know Ty. Like that's what I would have done. In all honesty, a little more. Okay, lately, so it was the same. It was the same sort of mentality I would have if we were like unloading a truck, and like, hmm. uh, um, maybe maybe like a road case is like slipping away from somebody or something. It's like, oh, let me oh, get yeah. that. Let me get that. Right. Like like that type of that was like that type of reaction that I instinctively had. But I had stopped myself because I'm like, oh well, that could be like an HR thing. And like, I'm like, okay, so do, so then it went through my head. I'm like, do I yell out, hey man, you want some help? Like that type of thing. But then I'm like, well, that can also be perceived as being insulting because he could then be like, I got this. I'm like, uh, how dare you, you know? I'm independent. I, you know, yeah, that type of thing. Put so, yourself in the so wheelchair. That, I mean, like, would you want help if that was you? Fuck yeah. It, would, it looked like a pain in the ass. It looked like a bitch of a hill. But I had some Wouldn't have balls. a manual wheelchair? Are I, you quick? No, 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 no. Owen would have someone. Actually, I would have a manual wheelchair. I would just have an assistant that pushed me around in my manual wheelchair rather than getting a. a Owen like, a says assistant. But, he means slave. He, well. I'd have them do extra things for me, you know, like, hey, can, you know, you know, well, just get me a cookies or something. I don't know. Like, uh, uh, <laughs> don't give me a cookie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, part of your job. Yeah. Part of your, no, Owen you really does for. get, Owen gets, Owen loses his legs and gets full lazy. Exactly. Get me a cookie. Yeah. 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 Hey, Benny, how's it going, man? I gave Benny a bunch of tickets to the factory the other day, so he's happy. He feels obliged to tune into the show. So yeah, yeah. Uh, thanks, thanks for thanks for doing that. But no, like I, I eventually, so I let him get up the hill for like to ninety, like 
he got up to like the 90% mark of his journey. And so I got up, like I was behind him and I sort of slowed down this all processed through my head. But then I'm like, okay, well, it was an area where like the, the path kind of like widens up where I can get around him too. And so I kind of like speed up and I get like to that 90% mark with him. I'm like, hey man, I'm like, hey, I need to help. You know, you know, need a you, you know, do that. Like, so I like, say, fuck I, you, you asshole. <laughs> here's, here's what he said to me. Oh no, I got it. I'm there now. It's ah. as if, it's as it's as if the motherfucker was like, bitch, I knew you were back there. He's got you, like a rear view. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's exactly. Bitch, I knew you were back there. You could I saw you not help me up this motherfucking hill. And you saw me struggling with yeah. my palsy. Yeah, yeah. He's like, I fucking got it now. I'm like, ah, oh, god. So I, I don't know. What is the <laughs> etiquette with fucking helping of, of leave them be? <laughs> yeah, leave those sour cripples alone. Sour cripples. Say, name of two point oh. Sour cripples. And just putting that on the. Just, I think was, I put it. I think I put it in the same. Uh, in the same vein, Owen. Um, I've I've said it before. I get I do get a little nervous when I'm out at the theme parks and you see someone who's clearly has special needs alone. Yeah, I see that and, a lot. Like, and maybe maybe you see I can't tell on their face cuz I can't tell if the look on their face is like I'm scared, I don't know what's going on or if or they're really enjoying it. Or that they're having a blast. Yeah, so yeah. I don't do anything, yeah. but my heart goes into like mild uh -oh. panic mode because I'm like, is this one lost? In need. This person's lost. Like they're on their own. They're lost. Like, well, I don't see this person because I think I think that happens a lot in theme parks because it's such a regulated environment. A lot of like it is actually a very good atmosphere for for that because it's um you know shows are at certain times and. There's like routines and that type of thing, and then it, it's, it's, it's very hard. Obviously, like, it, 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 there's a level of independence that you know one has to have, but but there is a, an ability. Like I see it, it's 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 cute, you know, like in a lot of ways because it's like they're let out. Like that's them going into town in a weird way. If does that make sense? Like in in their minds, that's like going to work. Or something like go, you know, go into walk around the theme park for the day. Like it, it it's it I helps see that. them build. It helps yeah. them like build self reliance. I and understand self reliance still... and confidence, and you know, even if it's just getting on a roller coaster on your own or something, it's something. And like ordering a drink or you know, like I see it doesn't it a lot. stop me from being like, oh boy, somebody should somebody should be here for that person. Somebody yeah. should be helping yeah, that person. No, no. I, I get worried because like I often handle parades and in that situation, I'm like, don't run out in front of the float. Don't run out in front of the float. Please. Don't run out. Please. Yeah, please don't run. Uh, you know, don't. That's not really your, your, your spiel though. Right. You don't have to deal with that directly. On, a, on, occasion, that happens. on occasion. Well, well there are times that I'm running parade from a booth and there are times that I'm walking a parade to manage a different side of things like on the ground and mm -hmm. when i and when i do that i'm walking oh, and with crowds i'm walking parades baby oh and what's the <laughs> code if a downy gets hit by the float if he runs out and a downy gets hit by a float what's the what do you put that's, over that's the, the um okay well that's a 10 that's a a, a 10 69 69 is actually the code a double 69 <laughs> yeah. oh yeah it's a double is that, 69. is that for the yeah because they got two chromosomes yeah, yeah, yeah. that's double like, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and we couldn't no. tell what sex it was you know so we had to you know we just yeah double 69 69, 69 yeah that's what it was uh but yeah um i also want to talk i also want to talk this segment before we get to clips about fat con um What's uh, FatCon? So uh, everyone right now, on your phone, if you can, or a computer, just go to FatCon.org. Um, <laughs> um, uh, see, this I should have bought Oh No Fatso. Uh, see, okay. See, I figured out what we're going to do. <laughs> okay, hold on. Some of the people in this photo for FatCon aren't, aren't even, even fat. fat. No, I, I agree with that. The, 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 but there's everyone involved with, fa trust me, everyone involved though, really, with FatCon, 
every fat. Like fat con is is exactly what it sounds like. By the way, it yeah. is it is a, hey, it, is a it is a con uh, for fat people, where there's it it's, celebrates the plus size lifestyle. Uh huh. <laughs> what are the activities at uh, um, Fat Con? There's a lot of like <laughs> keynote speakers uh, in Saucy West, uh, Tigris. Oh, oh, so I looked up Tigris here. Tigris. Uh, oh, Osborne. Um, Tigris Osborne, uh, she, her, is the chair of the National Association to Advance, Advanced Fat Acceptance, or the NAAFA. The National Association to Advanced Fat Acceptance. The <laughs> NAA. All right. NAFA. <laughs> NAFA. Um. So this thing was founded in 1969. Wait. Uh, so these fat uh, motherfuckers. What, what been... So these fat fucks need. Just, they see? have a whole porn category. We've accepted them. It's America. They're all. Everyone's fat. Like it is the land of acceptance for fat people. What, do they need to be accepted because they're advanced fat? I think they do. I think they do. I'm, f I'm fat, and I don't need a whole movement based around people liking me. I think they want to get fatter. I think they want to get fatter, and that's like part I of don't it. approve of this. I think, but, see, I Oh, think, and what I'd uh, like to ask you... I'm fundamentally bothered by fat con. I just, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. I'm fundamentally bothered by it. it. It's it's stupid. It's kind of gross. And I don't think it promotes, like, seriously, it's certainly not promoting, like, do whatever you want, but it's don't don't argue it's a healthy lifestyle. Being obese is unhealthy. Like, it, like, you don't, like, if it, like, okay, smoker con. No one in smoker con is going to try and argue that, like, smoking cigarettes is cool, right? Or, or, or maybe cool, but not healthy, rather. Like, mm. I feel like you go to Fat Con, they're going to tell you. Are you going to Smoke Con? Oh. Yeah. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about picking up some tickets. You know? like, Would uh, go. I, I want to go to, I want to go see Camel's new offerings. Yeah, let's, let's see. Let's see. You know, like, they're, we not? might get a sneak peek. You know, it's some, uh, yeah. some new Joe. Oh, we might get some real good uh, Joe Camel handouts, too. Like, I heard yeah. Owen coming down the pipeline, Camel. Double wide. Wow, double wide. They're like cigars. <laughs> it's a cigarella. <laughs> and it's short. It's even shorter. It's even shorter. No. It's like it's like no. they come in the size of like a matchbox, but like a fat one. Like they're it's a really weird packaging. <laughs> it's odd. They're they're slightly shorter than seventy twos, but they're like three times as fat. Oh man, that sounds like a rough go. Like I, don't, I want one. Yeah, oh, gonna, if they made Cam, if they made Campbell double wide, we, I would start smoking again. Can we next year, next Fat Con? Can we go? Just, let's do a trip to Fat Con and just we just we'll, well smoke and drink there and and. Uh, well, and since since you want to go to Fat Con, um, there are four. I don't really want here. To to there are four Con. tiers to mm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, ticket purchasing, yeah. and they all have very. Like fun. every good con, you've got to have like your your gold pass, your sil your silver gold. You want to know what they're called? Double. What do you got? What do they got? What do they got? What are they named? What are they named? So your base level, that's your fat friend. That you're just that's what they're calling that pass, the oh, fat friend. Uh, the fat. I got the fat friend pass. Cool. All right. And it and it basically Basic just gets bitch. you in, and you get brunch on Sunday. Uh, it's course. your base. Well, there pass. has to be some food involved in with it. It's fat yeah. con. Pay, it's fat con. Right. You know. Yeah. I mean, half of the shit, it, half of the vendors, probably more than half, food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so then your next step up, you're the plump patron level. Oh, plump patron. Mm -hmm. You get everything from the fat friend level, plus a badge ribbon, access to the hospitality suite, Ooh. and priority registration. Okay. All right, that's interesting. Hospitality suite, in my mind, equals buffet for these people there's a buffet in the hospitality suite that lots they, of burgers and, and gray hot yeah, yeah. dogs so a lot of people are going to go for this pass because it's it's going to allow them to consume as much food as possible throughout the entire day yeah. so then you move up to the next tier uh -huh. the fat bay tier mm. Ooh. and you get everything else you got uh for the for everything else plus you get priority seating to the keynote um, 
and you get priority seating to the closing fashion show. You Ooh. get a. I like you get a f- some plus size fashion. All right. Yeah. You right. get a fat con t shirt, a VIP goodie bag, and you Ooh. get a discount code to the Fat Lesk Fest, which sounds. I've come up with a better name because I know you're going for burlesque. Burlesque, fat yeah. burlesque, Bur- fat, yeah, yeah. Fat lesk was not the. No. You should have skipped that. And then you get to the top. The, oh, what's the, the top? The top. platinum tier, yeah, 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 yeah. which is fat royalty. Fat royalty. And you get everything from everything else, but you also, also Owen. Oh my God. Is it a blowjob? You get a hotel room in the main venue Thursday through Sunday. Comes with the ticket. You get a custom badge. Everyone else gets the same loser badge. You get a custom big loser, big fat loser. loser badge. I should start my own of this for, for skinny people. No, you should just start another fat con because you know it'll fucking sell yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, but but I can't start. I, you have to be fat to start fat con. I feel like, like I feel like I could do skinny. I'll con. start it for you. You can be the puppet master yeah, yeah. for the fat con. I'd like, I'd like, you know, oh no, fatso, you know, like that. Maybe that's what this is. Oh no, oh no, fatso, you know. And uh, it's, it's we'll start it little. It'll just be like a couple people hanging out. Mm-hmm. At a bowling alley. Oh, but it'll be big. We'll be at the Hyatt before you know it. Year Ball two, rooms. we move from the bowling alley to the Hyatt. To the little to the Hyatt, but they put up one of the dividers. Oh, do you know that they redid Colonial Lanes or or Stomping Ground? Of course, for the oh no, uh, three hundredth episode they perfect opened game. It? No, they haven't opened yet, but they redid it. It's like a luxury bowling alley now with like swank. Like they made it all swank and shit. That's not an oh no bowling alley. It's not. It's not. I mean, it does look pretty rad. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, it looks pretty fucking rad. I'm gonna check it out, but. I, it's not yeah i feel i feel like our people if we went there now like from the little promo video they did um i would um i feel like i would feel bad after the event because we would all ruin it like we and we were like the last event that happened in that building before all the pipes broke so some all of our lizards took ser- like horrible shits or something in those toilets i took at least one bad bad shit we over i think we overwhelmed their plumbing system because like a day later after our event that the whole place like pretty much went into ruin and never really recovered from that like a year later it closed because the ono oh stench just so wait I this think, is what's going to happen. I think we close I think we did close Colonial Lanes like honestly. Dude, I think I This is what's going to happen at FatCon. Whatever hotel, I think it's the Olive 8 in downtown Seattle. <clears throat> they're going to end up because of all the like super indulgent food and there's so many people overindulging. Bro, these people are going to shit these pipes. Yeah. Loose. Yeah, I would be scared if I was that hotel that was hosting all these the fat con. Like because yeah, it's going to it's going to be bad news bears. Like you got to get an extra insurance policy on that just to cover all right, we got fat con in. Let's bump up the premiums a little bit here. Yeah, like, we're going to need like, a, hey, hey, make sure all like the guardrails on all yeah. the stairs yeah, uh, they put yeah, an extra. They they like, hire an extra maintenance guy just to be on call for all the broken banisters and furniture that's gonna be there, like happening like that weekend. Yeah. Like it, there's a guy. He comes in. He's like, he suits up. He's like, Fat Gon's coming to town. Like drill in the pocket. This is, this like, is like his money. Year. This yeah, is like yeah. his money time. It's yeah. It's like all right, time to like. I do this for one month a year. It pays for all the other eleven. Do this, juju. Ju, ju. Time to go to FatCon. And he goes off into the distance, and he just like he's he's just a, he goes to war. He, he like the building is shaking at times. He's out there. He's out there holding the building up. You know, like he's it, this thing is about to fall crumble because these hippo, they because do. these hippos are bouncing into walls because they're getting drunk at night and falling into furniture and falling over balconies. And he's just there. He's the superhero. He is the fat, fat con superhero. 
man. Yeah. So when I imagine him as a really big black dude too, like like uh, Terry Crews, like but like buffer, even buffer, like buffer a buff, than Terry yeah, Crews. Yeah, a buffer. Ter- I imagine him like that. Like Brock Lesnar meets Terry Crews, like like oh, like shit. that kind of like he's like a monster type man. And, but he he saves all the drunk white women, but also can bang them if he saves them. So like it gets you know like and that it's, fair, it's, fair it's, take away. That's that's my new comic book character is um is fat con, fat con maintenance man. Um, so, it's also a really good porno. Like like you could make a good <laughs> porno series, but like imagine the amount of porno they could make at fat con. Like well, there's there's, there's a lot of porno that could be neat, some niche stuff, you know. They're all so my biggest my I think my my issue is you could just start this kind of I could start FatCon in Orlando a yearly, yeah, every year, and you just, just call make, it FattyCon. <laughs> just make a killing though, because it's yeah. it's not that it's like. I wouldn't try to be capitalizing on these people, but at the same time, like, there's no real S. You can kind of throw whatever you want at this festival, and it all stick. Food vendors, like, boom, you're done. You really wouldn't have to do much more. Health, what you're gonna- health checks. Get the re- like, do a thing where you get like, um, like the Red Cross out there or something, so you can donate blood, blood to get a health check. Yeah, blood to like diabetes checks and shit. Like you could do that. But I'm sure it, it's all like plus size clothing. Like, yeah. So, what I'm really wondering is like, why? Money. Yeah, it's just money, right? It's it, money. It's like, all this, all this stuff is money. I mean, even this person that was like, whatever, like the this association, the National Association of Acceptance or something for fat people, something like that. Like, get the fuck out of here. Like, it's it's yeah. Be fat or not be fat, like that's it's there's no whatever. Like if you don't fit into a goddamn airplane seat, that's your problem. That's what I'll tell I'm selling you. Like you gotta buy two. Like you that's all. That's, fly, that's I don't give a shit if you're fat or not. Just don't pour on your mind. You know, like it, it. That's on you. Like oh, we should need we need to. What are we gonna now make road bigger because we have to make cars bigger for fat people? It's stupid. You know, now we gotta make airplanes bigger to you know like. No, I, uh, or my, make fat people seats that you can pay for. They're called first class, and you can pay for those. And there's a premium, so you yeah, because you're fat, you you get to pay for that to be comfortable. Simple as that. Like, like we're already I, I doing it as a society. A I don't know, thing. like it, it, acceptance. Like uh, yeah, because uh, we're judging it. Yeah, because in a lot most cases, it's a health choice on you. To be that yeah, fucking it's fat. unhealthy. Yeah. So if you can judge me for smoking, I can judge you for being fat. And I don't mind people judging me for smoking. I try and be a clean smoker. And I get yeah. that, but I and I get that. But but I um but I also yeah, I feel like I mean, we should judge. We should judge fat people. We should We've said this like, before. We yeah, should be allowed to judge we and we should shame. be allowed to judge and shame. And yeah. I think, well, I think, I think, I think we're going the, the opposite like, direction. Like we should shame more. Shame everyone. I think that's I think that's kind of the issue. Is like this isn't something like that happened to in very rare occasions is this something that just like, oh, something happened and now I'm fat. No. In I and even I in some see of those cases, kids, you, I it do, could be okay. worked through. There is a real fat couple in my neighborhood that walk their kids, you know, like One's a little baby, one's a little toddler, or whatever, and they walk the neighborhood every once in a while. But they're like the couple is fat, like they're big as fuck. And the little baby, like that's where the toddler, she's fat as fuck too. Like that girl, God, like poor little thing. She's never gonna, had a chance. She's never had a chance. Like so, there is that. Like there they're is. They're out that. exercising. <laughs> like, yeah, and it's and, and they seem nice enough, but I mean, it's pretty clear. Like they're both fat. They probably eat like crap. They probably feed their kid like crap. Like, and the little chubby, the kid is fucking huge. <laughs> Dude, I saw it today. Uh, it's cute. A, fam- <laughs> a family of four came in, and it was a mother, very large, an elder son, also very large, middle son, 
skinny. Like that's weird. You, like you thin. Oh, uh, she cheated. She she banged some dude. She banged the mechanic down the street or something. But and then the yeah, the, yeah, the yeah. youngest daughter, mm. a big, big big girl. So I was like, bro, it's gotta be such a. It's gotta be either. You're the one skinny I, guy in the house of the big fat dudes, or like or people. Well, the, because they say a lot of it, like childhood obesity, is all because they watch their parents, they eat like their parents, and their parents eat unhealthy, so they eat unhealthy too. Or was the kid like, I don't know, did the mom have like a nutritional issue during that period where that one kid was born, so he was born a little different than the rest of them? You know, a little I mean? light, a little light. Creamy. Yeah, like it could have been, could have been something yeah. like that too. Like but, I don't know. But it was interesting to see like. Man, you got two fat kids and one thin kid. You're this is like uh the Steve Martin movie The Jerk, uh where he was born a poor black child, except he wasn't yeah. born a poor black child. You know what I mean? Like uh, oh, I like yeah. the the skinny guy in the in the house of the like like <laughs> imagine that. He's constantly gets getting knocked around by the fat people. Like he's just like he's bullied like you can't. He always gets the littlest piece of chicken because yeah, yeah. everyone like bullies him around for exactly. it. Exactly, they're all taking his food off him all the time. Like, yeah, he gets I, he has to sleep in the corner because even though he has like a section of a bed, the other fat kid takes too much of it that he just basically like steals the whole bed so he can't sleep. And like, yeah, they yeah. they oddly live in like a weird. Uh, Willy Wonka in the Chocolate Factory, Grandpa Joe situation. Yeah, it's very hey Arnold. Very hey Arnold, but yeah, 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 I'm getting it. some of those vibes. Yeah, it's something like that. Uh, no. Uh, do you know what I think it's time for? Mm. Uh, is it time to bring forth the clip? Mm. Clips! Clips! You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. You know you want them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Clips! You know we got them, baby. Clips! Yeah! Oh. Clips is the time of the show where we take a look at all of the random stuff that uh, myself and our good friend, the Clip Commander Tom, finds on the internet. Give me two seconds while I pull all this up for you. Uh, everybody should be seeing the Cone of Justice. And I can. I, oh, and... Yeah. You remember Arnold's room from Hey Arnold? Not he was it was awesome, right? It was like it would be Bro, it, that thing would he, be like fifteen thousand dollars a month now, like if you lived like where he lived in New York or something. He lived in a in a room on the top floor yeah, with like a skylight. giant skylight. Yeah, 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 yeah. That like he could open and like crawl out onto the roof. And I'm like, why would you give this room? To the fucking child, you could be charging so much money for the rent for this. You lived in a boarding house and you let this one kid have the best room in the whole fucking house. Yeah, it's a little. I mean, I know he's been through a lot. He's like, you know, kind of. A I know his parents parent, disappeared. Uh, yeah, exactly. Like, but I guess that's probably why, right? They gave, they felt bad for him. They gave him the room because it's a, anyway. Um, this is probably from the same sort of time frame. This was a, I believe, I don't know if it's Burger King or McDonald's, can't remember, but a pineapple burger they once tried. I think it's. Uh... Mm -hmm. Hey, 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 Golden Come on, yeah. in and say McDonald's Golden Ring. It's got real pineapple. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Ooh. All right. Lettuce and hot pineapple. All right, so it's, well, uh, I'd fuck with that. I mean, Give it to me. So okay, for a buck ten, I'd fuck with that all day. <laughs> Even at today's rates of whatever the fuck a burger is, I'd still get it. So that's I didn't know. I've, have you guys ever heard of that? I'm I no, I don't think I've ever heard of that. When McDonald's basically no, put a slice of grilled pineapple on the fucking thing you know i've seen some weird mcdonald's shit since i did the the conventions like i did i don't know how many of those three or four of them but um oh that's right yeah man I you did that you saw like, some so weird I've ass tried, some I've weird tried ass. a couple weird shit yeah. yeah but i don't think they had any pineapple burgers i mean I don't think. obviously what this is pretty much what mid 80s you'd say like that type of deal 
probably a buck mm. ten is really expensive, right? At that at that, that might point. have been like a pricey burger back yeah. then. Yeah, yeah, I think that's a pricey burger. I mean, it sounds great to us now, but that's in you know inflation the world was. Uh, this um, this clip's called "How to Properly Eat a Chili Dog." Check check that. Yeah. Out. Let me eat a chili glizzy. Okay. How to properly eat a chili dog. Hold on, this is from dog. the National Hot Dog and form, and Sausage Council. Well, that means it's that's it's fucking pretty official. legit. Yeah, if if you ask me, come on. And and, like, and the person you're hearing right now is Janet Riley, aka the Queen of Ween. Goddamn right she is. She knows about the. That ween. is the fucking best title I've ever heard. Yeah, and she she's low key cute. <laughs> yeah, you know what? Janet Janet parties for sure too, right? Like Janet she makes be a the good queen glizzy. of this yeah, wiener. Yeah, yeah, she parties. Hot dog deliciousness mixing the juicy wiener with spicy chili. <laughs> But the problem is, few people know how to eat it. Bro, she, she cannot say best. wiener at all anymore. So we've enlisted one of the finest okay. experts from higher education, Dr. Bernard Demchuk of George Washington University, <coughs> who's also the official historian at Ben's Chili Bowl, that historic oh. landmark. I'm glad that we're donating a lot of money to our uh, sausage and chili uh, history. You know, we need that. Yeah. yeah. On U Street in Washington, D.C., where we sit. If you haven't caught on to what's happening, basically she said, I think that like chili dogs, everybody loves them, but everybody struggles eating with them. So we're hired like experts to figure teach out us how to fucking do it. Yeah, to teach. Yeah, Today. to figure out the technique. This is Dr. Demchuk. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. All along, I've just been. Yeah, Ben's uh, Ben's chili bowl histor uh, historian Bernard uh, Demchuk. <laughs> PhD from George Washington University. Okay. I hope he I hope he has that on like a framed uh like something something framed yeah, 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 that yeah. says Ben's Chili Bowl historian and I hope your kids fucking laugh at you every fucking dog. day of your life. Tell me how to do it right. Well, you know, Janet, I'm so glad you asked that because it really saddens me to see people eating their chili dog and spilling the sauce all over the place. Don't spill your and sauce. You know, what I did here you. is I wrote this essay, this essay on how to properly eat a chili dog. It's called Bernie's Dog Bite Method. And I did it particularly because I wanted to help people Lame. avoid sauce slippage. Oh, that's yeah. a problem. Well, it is a problem because the secret is in the sauce and the taste is in the sauce. And if you're dropping the sauce all over your tie and your blouse and all over the counter, you're not getting the sauce. So I wrote this. Particularly for people <laughs> like you and everybody here. He made a guy. Slippage, so you get 100% enjoyment out of your chili dog. Excellent. Let's get started. Sure. All right. Let's One of the first things we have to do is we have to get these. All right. Please don't eat it with a knife and fork. Fuck that's your knife. Because embarrassing. I mean, if you went to the baseball game at the Yankee Stadium or an Orioles Park, and they saw you eating a hot dog with a knife and fork, they would throw you out of the... They'd kill you. They'd fucking kill you. They'd, They'd murder you. They would you sad. Fuck. Yeah, you'd... Yeah. You know what actually would happen? They'd call you the uh, the F word for gay people. Is what would they would do? Is they would they would just in a Boston rip. accent? Yeah. they'd be like, "Hey, look, hey, at, look this. at this, yeah, it, you know," and uh, and they they'd be real nasty about it, and they'd fucking eating uh, this dog with knife and fork. Yeah, uh, what is this fancy pantsy ponzi fucking hit guy uh, doing here? Huh? You fucking uh, what are you from Paris? You from Paris? You fucking yeah. Donny Wahlberg. Stay Don't there. you insult Marky Mark. <laughs> so the first thing in this step is to position the hot dog properly. Position You've it. You've got to get All things right. out of the way position. and have plenty of... I like that <laughs> move. I do like that move. I do that uh -huh. move at restaurants where there is sometimes on the tables too much shit in the way. All the condiments and salt and peppers, I appreciate it being there in the center, but sometimes... You got to get that shit away from you on a small table to cramp. It's mm. like, nah, I, nah, I need, I need space for my meal. You know what Give I mean? Give it a little forearm slide. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's a fair move. And get this hot dog set just right so you can lift it and grip it properly. All right, I like that. All right, so he's pulled lift it in. It and grip it. He's pulled it in tight, right? He's pulled it into the chest like you're catching a football, right? Like you're fucking pulling that in right there. He's centering it. Centering it in front of him, but on a slight angle. So that he can approach the hot dog, I believe, from both sides with his hands here, where he's going to grab the hot dog with the chilies, the chili dogs, from either side, two-handed technique here. Let's see. Grip it and lift it. Let's see. 
He's a fucking whale. A good space to do that. Okay, the grip, see? So the second step is the grip. It's really important to grip not too tight, not too loose. Okay. Because if you grip too tight, you're going to force out the Double-handed grip. The grip is the second step. See, I, maybe this is where I've been guilty. <laughs> I haven't been doing the double-handed grip. I like it when I just, I pick it up from the over-top grip, right? And then I just shovel it in my mouth. Yeah, like uh, a goddamn animal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I do that. Over the top? Yeah. You crazy human. yeah, yeah. yeah. So the third step is lifting the chili dog. It's really important. Remember, L is for lift and L is for level. So when you lift it, you want to keep it level. You do not want to put it one way this way or this way because then the sauce will slip out. Level. All right. So the fourth step is really important as well, and that is to enter the hot dog properly on a 45 to 60 degree angle. Open your mouth wide oh. so you don't hit the hot dog on your teeth on the side of the mouth. Open wide at a 45 degree angle ah. and act just as this. <laughs> There's too many fucking yeah, steps, You bro. know what, though? I mean, I feel like I've learned a lot already, and I'm going to try this 45 degree angle. Thing with I, my, I with find my dog. the angle slightly it. strange, yeah, right? I like, it. like, I'm not sure why it has to be at an angle. No, why? I, I, I think. Why can't you bite it straight on? No, nah, man, because <laughs> you're not gonna get the proper bun to sausage ratio in your first bite. You can, you can then like, it's like when a sandwich is cut down the, um, down the center, like horizontally, or if it's cut diagonally. A diagonal cut sandwich always tastes better because it has the ability to get more of everything in your mouth at once because of the positioning of the bite. So the C's doing the same thing. He's setting up a slight angle to his hot dog so that every bite now is going to be positioned to be the best bite. That's what I think. Yeah. Am I crazy here? I think, I think no. that's a good. I think that's a good explanation. You got to get it in there just right. Yeah step that you've been waiting for and that is the bite when you bite make sure you bite with the canines and cut that skin really well wow. so you can explode the juices in your mouth watch the bite <laughs> he's proud of this bite mm. is that good he's exploding well, them juices i avoided sauce slippage so of course after step five is the repeat and practice makes perfect so after we bite we repeat how many chili dogs this guy eat a week I I feel like it's too many, probably. This guy, this guy eats a, a good, you know, baker's dozen, I think, uh, chili dogs a week. That's I mean, let me ask you, if, if chili was available for any hot dog that was ever in front of you, would you always use chili or would yes. you not? Yeah. Ch yeah. Every time? Yeah, yeah, chili cheese. Uh, only, okay. If there's cheese by, the cheese has to kind of come with it, too. Like I have to have the like it's a connection for me to have yep. the boat. Chili cheese dog. Mm hmm Yeah, yeah. But I would go for every time. I like it. I like a lot of onions too with that. Like I like yeah. I like I like onions on it. Yeah. Okay, so there was this place in Titusville called Dave's and he was in the middle of the mall and he only served hot dogs. But he made like all kinds of different hot dogs, like a pizza dog, a Reuben dog, like anything you could think of, he was pretty much doing. So I would say yes to the chili uh, agreement only on the caveat that there isn't like a Reuben dog ever available. But yeah, chili wins out under most circumstances. No, it does. Like I, I, I like, like chili, but I don't want it every time. Like there's times I don't need chili with my dog. Okay, when you put chili on a dog, do you also then add ketchup or mustard or anything else? No. Maybe Just a little mustard. Bit. Mustard goes on the bottom, then cheese, then dog. I've been known then... to do both. I've been known. <laughs> I've been known to absolutely fuck with like, yeah, absolutely. Why do you need ketchup if you have chili? Because load it up, bro. Like, why not? Uh, like, I'll still use a little, not a lot, but yeah. I like yeah. a little dollop of ketchup in that scenario. I do. I think that's the best way to go. Are you relishing a chili dog? Don't know. No, I won't relish a chili dog. I will relish outside of a chili dog, but I won't relish a chili dog. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> chili job. Dog. Whatever. Um I want to get a chili job. Uh <laughs> sip the that sounds disgusting, actually. 
I don't think I want that. I feel like that's got poop involved. Uh, Thai so, chili yeah, job? You don't want it. Mm, uh, not my thing. After a stressful <laughs> week. All right, we got Sip the Lipton. Uh, it's maybe, I think it's a, a Lipton commercial or something. Let's see. After a stressful week, when I'm trying to unwind, there's only one beverage. Lipton. Lipton iced tea. Take a vacation <laughs> in the condensation. Lipton. Is, do you think this is real? Lipton is this real? Iced tea. I was kind of mad at first, but now I love it. I don't. <laughs> oh, and is question. it real or not real? Real or yeah, not? Yeah, that's what I was gonna ask. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, uh, this real? I, don't, I think. Yeah, I don't. Uh, I don't really think sip it's the, fake. Sip the Lipton. Sip the sip the Lipton. Sip the Maybe. sip the Lipton. Use your lips to sip it. Don't trip it. Sip it, 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 sip it. Sip it and drink it. Don't trip. It's not real. It's got no. It's, it's too tip. No, it's too bizarre. Too bizarre. It's his uh too try hard. There's probably some Just sort of circumstance for it. You know what I mean? Like she won some sort of Lipton. thing. Lipton iced tea. <laughs> Lipton iced tea. And she's got some good dance moves. All right. She's she's cute too. What's up, girl? Okay. Maybe it's real, maybe it's not. I don't I don't actually I don't actually know. Uh, Lipton iced tea. Okay, let's check this one out. Big beautiful. This guy I think's uh looking for a mate. This is one of those, you know, it's like a dating video site thing where this guy's uh, he's setting up his profile. He's gonna do is like this is my opening video of what I'm looking for in lady I think. Let's check. Let's see what he's into. Um, loving planet called Earth. I know I haven't talked about this in a while, and I feel like I should give you kind of like an update on what my type is. Now, I know. Uh, Ooh. You know I know that a lot of you think that um, just because I don't have a job or a license or any of that stuff. That I can't have a type of woman that I would like to date in the future. But I do. And that's what I wanted. I haven't, you know, like I said, I haven't talked about this in a long time. And it, it, it this may change like five years down the road. It may change ten years right. down the road. Your Wait, type will come change? On. Like, is this guy Wait, special? Hold on. Pause is this guy pause pause yeah, is this guy special needs? Because I don't want to make fun of. I, I don't care if he is or isn't, but what do you think his type is? Um, <laughs> big black woman. He wants yeah, to maybe. go. He wants to go to FatCon. I think. I think he wants oh, he to go. Uh, I, I'm gonna randomly suggest tall with a big ass. <laughs> that'd be good. Uh, maybe he wants. No. Maybe he wants blonde. He. Wa I think that's. I think he wants big tits, big ass. I'm hoping it's not blonde. too stereotypical. I want this, it to be weird. I, no, this guy wants like a full 10 like uh, just so yeah, out yeah. of his league yeah yeah yeah. that's what he yeah that's what i think that might happen with this i can all right we're, let's find out Are they, it's suspense my friends go over what my type is now this isn't definitive this is more like a like a 25 percent um it's a uh, guideline 100 percent scale of what my type is. Okay. It, the hair color. Could He's only giving us a quarter of what his the, type is. The body type could change. Okay. Um, the the famous or not he's famous say, thing could change. Oh, famous or not the famous. Watch. That's okay. That's an interesting one. But I think he's just saying like you know he's kind of flexible. Like he'll uh, he's like he might be really into one hair color, but if it's you know. You meet all I the might other, be. You know. uh, he's basically saying like I might be really into blondes, but um, but... you could you could be hairless with alopecia, and I'd probably still fuck you. Rob. Most likely, and it, it's just me. It has to be someone famous. I know oh. that sounds ridiculous. I know <laughs> okay. it sounds unrealistic, and 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 all. I didn't see things. that swerve coming. I understand coming. that a lot of you may not get it, but I'm just explaining to you that this is my type. Now, hair color is... It's, it's an interesting type. Not trying to fuck famous chicks. All right. I mean, more power Being that you, you have no car and no job, and you're still yeah. shooting for famous? Like, uh, bro, your balls are massive. I mean, 
more power to him? Wide range. It could be blonde. It could be brunette. It could yeah. be curly. It could be straight. It could be. Um, it could be. Uh, it could be short. It could be long. Mm-hmm. Um, Didn't say other, red. What other stuff could it be? It could be bald, or it could oh. be shaved head. Um, no, it couldn't. It could you fucking top, liar. Or, or it could be like down to her ass. I don't. Or not ass. I should say ass. Her butt. Uh, it could Uh-oh. be. <laughs> it could be. I hate It could this be guy. pink. It could be green. It could be blue. It could we be get any, it. Any color, basically, any length. It could be any of that stuff. Now, as far as eyes, it could... wow, this guy's. It, this guy's. I didn't realize how long this clip was, guys. Sorry. Uh, is that Rivers you know, Cuomo? I'm going. I'm going. I'm going halfway. Yeah, fat Rivers Cuomo. Let's see. Let's see. Halfway. I think that's when he was in his depressed phase. Ha- I can tell why this guy through. is single. And I wish I could, you know, definitively say what my my um, ideal woman is uh, definitively, but it I want to be open minded, basically, in in the world of YouTube, the world of acting, the world of modeling or music or or. Um, or accountants, or Denny's waitresses, or I think ladies stopped. who work at a fucking bookstore. You would literally, I, 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 I this, this guy, guy would wants, fuck anything. Today, so I don't, I have no doubt that. in my mind. I wonder if Camila uh, Mendez. Ha- yeah, I can't do this. I don't. Uh, I think he just wants to have some success or know someone with some success on like YouTube or something, which makes it really fucking sad. Uh, here we go. This will cheer us up. Cooking with hate. Just a basic white cake, and uh, you had two mm-hmm. egg whites, a little bit of water, you bake it for about an hour. Oh. The basic cake is uh, plain white frost. What what sort of era? This uh, what sixties, early seventies? Not seventies, probably seventy. I think late, yeah, early seventies, maybe something like that. Mm. With uh, about an ounce of food coloring, red food coloring, the ball. Is uh, white frosting here? Oh, okay. Whoa! Okay. Oh my God! Uh, that's, uh, that's, uh, that's a Nazi cake. This lady's building. Wait, oh, and this, can I say uh, one thing? What? So I, mean, I don't think I could show that. Actually, I don't know. I don't know how that works. Can, can uh, I no. say one thing, Owen? Uh-oh. The swastika <laughs> was really straight. Like for being yeah. cake. No, really, it's not. That great. swastika was pretty. Like that was a well done. The decorated swastika on that cake like this lady's got here talent. we are judging swastika yeah but that was a, that show. was it was really well done like it was it, <laughs> well i mean if I you're mean, gonna make a hate cake like i don't want to yeah, have a look at that swastika like that's on it. that's that's a quality that's a pretty quality swastika <laughs> god damn it god damn it <laughs> i can't just blend the uh the red frosting around so it looks like a basic flag Ooh. And uh, oh. just make it so that it looks neat and it's <laughs> even. There's no wrinkles in it. Fuck me up, guys. <laughs> oh, and I have no doubt this woman could literally be like sawing the head off of a off oh of a God. living human oh and still be doing it with like this level of demure, just yeah. like and and you know, you just keep going you keep sawing it's gonna get tough around the the neck oh. bone but you just keep pushing through it's good <laughs> oh wow and and that lady right there hates everyone who isn't white yeah sure does she sure does oh she's, that... not, she's not she's not even Ooh, that ugly that fucked me up that fucked me up a lot i'm sorry guys uh waffle house training um, this, I, this is their sexual harassment video, apparently. Oh, I thought Waffle House was also going to bring out a swastika cake. <laughs> uh, here we go. Hey, Mike. Hey, thanks for sending me this video. Dude, yeah, ain't it some wild stuff? Yeah, that's some pretty wild stuff, all right. Oh, hey, I like, okay, so the video, all right, so the video opens with two Waffle House cooks in the back mm-hmm. talking about the porno. That one said hey, he just guy. he just yeah, said yeah. it was a video. He said it was yeah, a video. Heavily implied. That I don't walk over to my friends and I'm like, hey bro, <laughs> do you see that cool dog video I just sent you? Yeah. And then the conversation goes like this. It was wild. <laughs> yeah. Whoa. 
some really wild yeah. stuff so there. So I'm Tom. pretty yeah, I'm pretty sure these guys are sharing pornos like in the back here. Dude, yes, get it. Get it. What? Yeah. Okay. Now we back. Okay, to the outside. I don't know. There's a lady uh, getting out of her car. Wait a minute. This is horrible. Did they send the porno to their coworker or something? Did this? Did they? Wait a minute. What? Is that what happened? I, I don't know. Why did, did you wait? Hold, why did you think that coworker was gonna be into your like? Yeah. Cool <laughs> porn. How much are you both? Something so disgusting. Oh wow. Has Joanne responded yet? Oh, you know, no, she hasn't. I don't know what's what the problem. <laughs> this guy's like trying to fuck her. He's just like, yeah, I, you know what the thing I, you know what I should do? I should do is I should send her some porno from the uh, old Waffle House break room. Yeah, oh, have you ever uh, been like hanging out with your buddies in the break room and you're like, <laughs> one, you're like, hey man, <laughs> thanks for sending me that porn Sweet clip. Porno. It was really Wait. spanked it good. You know who else I think would enjoy this? Our oh, female Teresa, co-worker. Teresa from accounting. <laughs> <laughs> Probably fucking not, dude. No. Funny video. Her loss. Yeah. Oh, texting me that disgusting video just made me feel awful. Hmm. How could he be so insensitive? How did he know you were going to be all uptight about porn? So, okay. So, first off, before we get to Vekas Miller or whatever here in a second, the Waffle House operations manager. Before we get to that, you know, because this clip is so specific about <laughs> that storyline, you know that that had to have been, like, a widespread problem or something? Like, it, it happened at least more than we once. We have to address this. <laughs> yeah, we have to address this. We well, have to spend money to produce a video about this specific issue because yeah, you yeah. dickheads won't <laughs> stop doing it. Sending your female co-workers pornos and trying to bang them. Like, you're, not, you're not allowed to do that. Yeah. All right. Let's see what this guy says. Hi. I'm Vikas Miller. Vikas. Our associates should never have to deal with something like this. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. This type of behavior from any Waffle House associate is out of line yeah, and yeah. will not be tolerated. Okay. When you are at Waffle House, you can't show co-workers or anyone videos, huh. pictures, jokes, or anything of a sexual Oh, behavior. shit, I get jokes. This also extends to texting and emailing. You can't send any message or pictures of a sexual nature. I love that they had to make this video. That's how Hold on. Yeah. yeah. So wait, Owen... Does that mean I can send my female coworkers pictures of my dick if I'm asking, hey, does this look like a rash in a purely medical? It's not sexual. Medi yeah, you can do it if it's, it's medical. It's a medical way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's fine. It's, 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 I'm it's only fine. asking them medically. Yeah, 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 yeah. This may also apply when you're off duty. Today, we want to show you different situations to better reinforce what is not allowed under our sexual harassment and smart start policy. Okay. We will also tell you what you can do if you feel like you're being harassed. Here at Waffle House, we want everyone to work in an environment they find safe and free of harassment and discrimination. Yeah, not like any Waffle House mm. ever, <laughs> basically. <laughs> I'm guaranteeing that phrase has never been said by a Waffle House no. trainer. No, no, no. Don't tolerate this behavior. Okay. This is the official legal definition of sexual harassment. Okay. It is. We're going to go with the official legal. All right. Unwelcome conduct of a sexual nature, such as sexual advances, requests for sexual favors, and other verbal or physical conduct of a sexual nature. <laughs> when it comes to sexual or any harassment, it's what the victim believes is harassment, not the intent of the other person. That means if something is intended to be a joke and not harmful, but the person hearing the joke is offended, then this could be judged as harassment. And if you join in, boo, laugh at him. boo, you're telling me I can't joke anymore. Oh, so wait, is it is it also against the rules to coerce the person and say like, come on, come, come on, on. is that against the rules? I, I don't know. Maybe. Hey, Becky, how's it going? Oh, this dude's trying to fuck Becky. Mm -hmm. I'm fine, thanks. Hey, let me help you with that. I've got it. Thanks. Yeah, Becky ain't having none of this dude's shit, though. Hey, Becky. Hey. All right, that's creepy. <laughs> Bothersome. Can you excuse, can you excuse me, please? Excuse me. I, I, 
I can't stand working with him. Oh. He, he won't keep his hands off of me. That girl is way too pretty to be working in a Waffle House. That is an actor calling it. He should, he should just do his job and leave me alone. I just want to be left alone. Ooh. This male associate's behavior clearly violates our sexual harassment policy. It's not okay for an now that, I mean, you can see, like, I imagine them showing this, like, at the beginning of the day. Some guy brings in, like, some manager at the Waffle House. Like, that the edict comes down. You got to show every every Waffle House, every employee has to see this yep. video, right? So they sit them up, like, at some point, they close the store for, like, 30 minutes. Um, and they they wheel in one of those, like, AV cars. Wow, this, this actually was a very important video if they're closing Waffle House yeah, yeah, yeah. for 30 minutes. Exactly. They're closing it for 30 minutes. They bring in an old, like, like AV cart with the TV on it, right? Probably still a VCR DVD player hooked up to it. And they, yeah. and they put this bitch in, they start playing, and I just, I can just see all the employees, like, they're just, like, outraged. Like, what? I can't, hey, girl, I can't, like, I can't, like, Hey girl, the you know the 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 girl at the cashier at the register and all that shit. Like they're all mad. Like they're all like boo as they're watching this. Like they're all. Uh, it's like prison. Associate to give unwelcome hugs, rubs. I can't massages, joke. They're out. They're outraged about it. You know. With another associate. If anyone Dude. says or does anything that makes you feel uncomfortable, you should tell that person to stop immediately and report that person's behavior to the associate hotline. Steps will be taken to stop the conduct and arrangements made so the reporting associate and the... I also like the uh, the actor. The actor's... Re gee, he's really into this role. He's really... He's really, he's really, really drawing for personal Really experience. going to be creepy here. Like, he's really like, I want to fuck that white girl. Like, hey, um, yep, Waffle House. I'm into this. Like, he's, yep, guarantee it. He's, he's into this whole thing. Guarantee Dude, it. oh, and... The thing is, I've had to give these like speeches as a manager, and you know how hard it is to tell like a bunch of seventeen and eighteen year old kids, like, "All right, guys, like, you, you're not you allowed can't to do that." Yeah, yeah, you, yeah, yeah. You can't say these so these certain things right. at work. Yeah, yeah. You you get laughed out of the fucking meeting. <laughs> I'm like, listen, guys, someone could take this the wrong way, and they're like. Well, who would who would who would it's a, you can't do this anymore. like you basically have to wait for you have to say it and then just wait for somebody to fuck up and let everyone else see it yeah i mean it's definitely an interesting um uh, yeah uh, have you ever been at a job after someone gets fired for sexual harassment yeah yeah there's yeah. like two or three days of like awkward like like I don't know what I can do anymore. Uh, and then as soon as the week is over, the next week, back to normal. Nothing's changed. There was one, um, you know, those like those like traffic wands, like a uh, like an air like airplane. What, you know, when you're landing an airplane, you got the wands, right? Yeah. The wands, right? Yeah, you uh, wand people in. So in certain aspects of things in a theme park might have to use those wands to direct traffic for instance of certain description mm. right and a person that was like holding one particular wand was in a um an argument with a female manager who was wearing a skirt and he did that move where like he just used his wand to go flip like just real quick just a quick little oh on, I, on, on the flipped skirt. her skirt <laughs> Damn. What the fuck? Yeah. I mean, you got fired, obviously. But ah. <laughs> that's that's the best one I know of. It. It's like, oh, come on. Like, it was play it was a joke. <laughs> ah, that's a good one. I like that. Sorry, I can't name any names on that one, of course, but uh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good Jesus. <laughs> that's a pretty egregious um. <laughs> Example. It is always awkward when you have to sit people down for HR discussions and you tell them what, like, why they're being talked to, and they are like, "What?" Like for they, real? they are in such they, <laughs> they're in such disbelief that like somebody <laughs> reported them for doing something. I'm like, 
you didn't think you were getting reported for this? Yeah, exactly. This is fucking egregious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, that was Glibs. Glibs! Glibs! You know you want them, baby. You yeah, know we got them, baby. You know you we got them, baby. You know we got them, baby. Glibs! Yeah. You know we got them, baby. Glibs! Oh, decent clips tonight. I enjoyed that thoroughly. Thank you, Tom. Our clip. We need to get him back on. We need to give him. We need to get him call. We need to get him back on the show. Um, we probably should start wrapping things up for 2.0. Here's uh, Mike. So, what is this thing that you threw on my uh, notes here? What is what is this thing at the end? Oh, the the my little bit, my closing bit. I mean, yeah. What if that's what it is? I don't. I, I don't understand. Yeah. I don't understand it. So I don't understand this it. This is this is kind of a modified take on a this or that, but I'm calling it oh, okay. the oh no employment agency. Oh, hang on. I, I... Oh, hang on. Let, me some, let me get some tune. There it is. There it is. Yeah. So, you guys know what I like to do, guys. I like to play a little game called This or That. Uh, this week, uh. we're switching it up just a little bit to something I like to call the Ono oh Employment Agency. Ooh, and I it's love a, it. It's a specialized This or That where I'm going to be asking you guys which places you would rather work. And this week, we themed it all because uh, I was just at a mall poking around looking for Ninja Turtles. And <laughs> there's still some mall peoples in there. So, I figured... Why not ask you guys? How many people uh, were at the mall? Let me ask you that real quick. Like, was it? Like, I, think, I still saw like sixty people, huh? like throughout the mall. So pretty, I mean, pretty sparse though. Pretty sparse. Comparatively to when I was young, yeah, yeah it's not the same. Right. But, uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna list off some places to work. Okay, and... we're, we're all of these are okay. Just just so I know, were all of these places actually places that were open in the mall that you were at? Yeah. Well, okay. So that's interesting because I don't know what the hell's even open in the mall now. So I'll like. Yeah. This, yeah. This is interesting. Okay. Yeah. So, you, so this will be. You're gonna ask us which one we like, like a place and, and which one we'd rather work at. I'm gonna give you two places and uh -huh. you tell me which place you would rather work at at the mall. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. So we got four pairs here tonight. Uh, we're gonna start with the first one, guys. You're at the mall. Would you rather work at the Foot Locker or Auntie Anne's Pretzels? Ooh. Mm. Auntie so, Anne's. Probably. <laughs> I, think, well. I, think I, I think Auntie Anne's is going to be the easier job. If they're like the same pay, I'm working at Auntie Anne's. Because all I got to do is fucking cook some goddamn pretzels. And like you know, hand it's, them over. it's hand them over. With with the Foot Locker, you got to deal with goddamn like teens buying shoes. You got to deal with stock rooms. You got to deal with all sorts of fucking nonsense. I think Auntie Anne's is the better like the better gig on that one. Plus, I think you get tips at Auntie Anne's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't getting a tip at Foot Locker. No. Yeah. So I I think I think easy. Ah. If they were the same money. Now, I imagine a Foot Locker employee is getting paid actually a little bit more than the Probably. Auntie Anne's person. And but maybe commission, Bob. too. I don't know. I don't think so. At foot I mean, if they're yeah. if you're just selling shoes, maybe you're maybe nah, they got you no on a way. commission. They, no way they got a fucking commission structure at Foot Locker. No fucking yeah. way. Yeah. No? No. no. I don't know, man. <laughs> they might get some sort of reward, but I wouldn't call it a bit nah, like nah, a... Nah. Uh, I, I'm going to side on Foot Locker only because I have a strict no food rule. I, I, I'm not going to work in the kitchen. Dude. I'm not going to do it. Uh, me too. But I feel like Auntie Anne's is like the bot. Like, this is like the microwaves of, of restaurant kitchen <laughs> stuff. You know what I <laughs> yeah, mean? Like, it, it's the bare minimum. Like, it's. Everything it's is literally. So Everything is literally set so that like sixteen year olds. <laughs> yeah, can just you put one, that. you move one thing to the oven, you move that, and you wash it. Like it serves the people. It's a, it you yeah. put them. It's a pretty cut and dry, easy thing. I, so, I imagine yeah. honestly, if you could put like people who actually gave a fuck about their jobs in an Auntie Anne's, 
Oh, they could be it. run well. Yeah, yeah. And they would get mur- it would murder, but you only employ like a bot, like the most yeah. entry level of entry levels. So, what are you picking? I was gonna do Auntie Anne's. Okay. Uh, dude, I don't want to fucking work retail. No, no, no. I think I, I, I'd rather work at Auntie, <laughs> Auntie Anne's. Now, there's some retail I would work at than, like, say, for instance, like an actual restaurant because I just don't have the experience. I think I'd rather work some retail than that. But yeah, yeah both of them sound like hell to me. Uh, let's go to the next one. Let's go to the next one. All right, one, guys, moving right along, we're going to take you into the stores that all three of us were probably more accustomed to in our old school trips to the malls. Guys, would you rather work at the Hot Topic or Journey? Oh, Hot Topic, Hot Topic all day, Hot Topic um, all day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's I can't there. disagree with that either. Yeah. Like, it's got to be a Hot Topic. Better merch, <laughs> better merch in the Hot Tops. Like I, I gotta yeah. say, yeah, yeah. And just yeah. weird, better people watching in general. Better people watching, <laughs> definitely. Yeah, yeah. It's Hot Topic for sure. Like it would be. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? I, too, would have probably gone to the Hot Topic mm. just because there was a bigger array of stuff, and I didn't like all the <laughs> shit. First time Hot Topic's ever got an air horn. Yeah. All right, so, guys, uh, Hot Topic wins that one. Moving on to the third question out of four. Guys, you're at the mall. It's uh, the late 90s. Would you rather work at FYE or the GameStop? Mm. FYE. Fye. Now I knew Owen that's... was. Pr- I knew Owen was probably going that way because he doesn't really play video games. But Ty, you play a fair amount of video games. See, it's a real tough call because if I'm thinking about it, like you know, real selfishly, I don't. Uh, but, <laughs> is this now? Like now, which one would we? Okay, well work? now well, Fye, FYE doesn't, doesn't exist. exist. But okay, if it, yeah. yeah, it's it, that's a tough one. So it would have so to be. So you're looking back at probably like the okay, you're looking at like the turn of the century, the 2000s. No, back in the day, fuck, man, fuck. <laughs> you gotta remember too, Ty. Back in the day, Fye, you could get concert tickets at Fye. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I bought a lot of music too, man. Like I've gone through massive arrays of different physical format, but back back in the day, I probably would have picked Fye. Even though it would have been something else up here, Sam Goody or something, but mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, uh, but still, man, like getting the early crunch on the games, like just being like, and and an employee discount, bro, so. oh, and all the random merch like that you would have first crack at, like. For I don't while, care so much F- about F- the F-Y-E, merch side. Fye actually carried games for a bit too so oh, that's true yeah. so if you're looking at it like just from the gaming perspective i feel like that you know you're in this decent amount of spot you know there uh they carry dvds they carry music there was a the period like my a couple of them i saw definitely F- uh, fyes with um racks of records in them you know yeah. like so yeah. that you know like they actually had some vinyl and like that was like and I feel like it was it's the last bastion of what we know to be a record store in our culture, really, other than now the vintage record store, which that's just, that's what they are. They're all like those those always existed, right? The old school record shop, I would say. But yeah. FYE and that last little like like the Virgin Mega Store and stuff like that, it was the last like like before everything went to streaming and everything went to the cloud and all that and it all was the, digital yeah. yeah and all digital when you had to go and buy media those were the last two bastions of like some sort of like there was a culture with those places and it, it was actually kind of like it always felt nice going into an fye or something like that it felt like okay people that get me get like are in this store right like they're music fans if nothing else like it was always like a safe haven in a weird way like it, yeah. was, it was kind of, it kind of felt like as much as you might like not like that other type of music or whatever, but you were all in there and everybody was cool in a record shop like your store. Like it was it and it doesn't exist as much anymore. We're just browsing through CDs or like, you know, records or whatever. You, you do it on occasion when you find an old school record shop, you go to, 
in town. You know, you've got retro records. You've got a, you know, a, a, we got a bunch of them here in town. We got yeah, Park Ave. Yeah, we got Park Ave, of course. And that's, but that that's more of now of a a boutique go out of your way type of thing, whereas once upon a time. You did that at least way. once a month or twice a month when you went to the mall and you always went in there and you always browsed. It's not a consistent thing that people do like they used to. That's what I'm trying to say. Yeah. So, FYE, right. that's the answer. Ty? I, I got to go to, uh, man, I can't. As much as I love video games, I'm still sticking with it. Sure. Music, music beats video games still okay. <laughs> for me. Uh, I would have gone GameStop, but uh, FYE wins that one. Guys, we're going to close out the final uh, question of the Ono Employ- Employment Agency for the night. Yeah, mall edition. Mall edition. Would you guys rather work at the Asian spot in the food court at the mall? Or would you rather work at the movies in the mall? Movies. Oh, yeah. I'm, gonna, I'm 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 all up in that projector room and shit. I'm fucking I'm all up in there. High as all fuck. Oh dog, no, I'm, I'm, I'm bringing my wife. I'll be like, yo, I could sneak you in, and then we like banging in the projection room and stuff. Damn like, right. Oh, that's bizarre. somebody's hearing some weird sounds yeah, that aren't in the movie. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm fucking yeah, pro- yeah, movie theater all day. Why? Why the hell would I want to work at <laughs> an Asian place in the food court over a movie theater? Free That's Asian stu- food, dog. Uh, I got popcorn. It's cool. Popcorn. Yeah. Like, yep. uh, popcorn snacks. Snacks. I didn't know how big of moviegoers you guys were. I'm not a big moviegoer, so it wasn't. I'm not either. I'm I mean, still I not... still go on occasion. I do. Yeah, I mean, I don't. Uh, but... Are you guys, anybody want to do the Barbenheimer? Like, I kind of want to go. No, I don't have the patience for that. I'm not sitting through two fucking movies in a day. Like, even in my house, I'm never gonna watch two movies in a day, let alone at a fucking theater. <laughs> get the fuck, get fucked. Like, no, no, no. Whatever. No. I mean, I understand what? the logic of it. Like, is, is I get the point is right. You're supposed to see Oppenheimer, which is super like dark and about like you know the atomic bomb and shit. Uh, by the way, you know they they're not playing that in Japan. I didn't even like I heard that the other day. They're not airing like they're not. No theater is carrying it in Japan. For, I mean, for reasons. Well, what are you guys obvious. still a little sad? Of, you yeah, still yeah. a little sore about it, guys? Yeah, yeah. Get it? I thought that, I thought it was interesting. Though it's like, all right, right. Yeah. like, oh, a little testy, are we? You know, killed half your population. No, but, uh, you guys uh, have repopulated. Calm down. Uh, I mean, it obviously is sad, but like it is. But it's interesting that like, just barely. You know, they are choosing to it's probably cultural right the japanese are interesting like that like so it's it's just like i don't know it's not talk like about the dead and all that hey let's not remind us of like the national tragedy probably something like that i mean oh and you think if i mean i guess that's i think that's the weird thing because if they made a movie like called 9 11 Every American would instantly. There wouldn't be like a theater that wasn't showing it in America. But like, they wouldn't talk about. They won't talk about it in Japan. Triple screening type thing. I mean, it would. Yeah, they would have. It would be on all day, all night. All the theaters would stay open twenty four hours a day for weeks on end. Simulcast on NBC, ABC, TNT. Yeah, dude. It's the same thing as like when they uh, did the Passion. Like there were so many screenings of the Passion. You're right. I day. forgot. You know what? I forgot about how ridiculous that was. Yeah. Like, yeah. man, oh man, this country is fucking Christian nuts. <laughs> like, get it together, guys. Like, it's not like. I mean, I'm sure Christ it's not existed, like Jesus but Jesus was like, actually in it. I mean, it's not. Yeah, get it. Uh, just. You Christians, get it the fuck together. Just pull it together. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're getting out of hand. I'm just throwing it out there. You Christians are getting way the fuck out of hand. You shut the fuck so up wait, for a little, little bit. Qu- question. Yeah. So the Christians have the passion. Yeah. Do like do the Jews have like a movie other than Fiddler on the Roof? Um, they have curb your enthusiasm. That's what we gave him. Oh, Larry it's David. Larry David is, uh, is what he's we gave carrying. Him. He's carrying him on the, his shoulders. Yeah. I mean, I mean, and all Hollywood, so they're all right. 
you know, then they'll they'll give you one passion for all the other, you know, Weinstein's and stuff. Yeah, I mean, he, I think they're okay with it because you know Jesus, he was a Jew. So I mean, they kind of, they're like, I mean, he was. Does he get a pass? I don't know. Did we kill him? I don't know. Like, oh, the Romans, oh, the Jews, oh, you know, like it's all, it's all a real twisted tale. None of it makes any goddamn sense. Yeah. And uh, yeah. Speaking of which, so if uh, they made a nine eleven movie real quick, would that also be the um like? Who's Muslim the st- who's movie. the st- who do you have star in the nine eleven movie? Let's go there. Mel Gibson. It's, it's, Mel Gibson. No, <laughs> yeah. Two. Okay. It's always Mel Gibson. He's always smoking and yelling. Calling um, people sugar tits. He's calling people. All right. Sugar so tits. real quick, mini casting couch. Yeah, yeah mini casting. Shooting the nine eleven movie. I don't even know what roles we okay. need. Well, the story clearly revolved around a heroic firefighter. <laughs> Um and Mel Gibson and, and a uh, possibly a heroic security guard and uh, I think the also the, Mel Gibson also, he plays both yeah, yeah I was gonna go one I was gonna go security guard female obviously male fail firefighter that's your stud that's like your good you know like that's how you do it you're gonna have to cast a couple of people that die uh, no, office see, you, people you're gonna, you're gonna have to have a deal. couple you office don't people don't have live. to Owen. You cast Mel Gibson and do it like an Eddie Murphy movie. Oh, buddy cop movie. Do a buddy cop no, movie type No, thing? no, where Mel Gibson plays every role. Okay, that would be fun, though, if you did a 9-11 movie as, like, and make a, it a comedy, buddy a buddy cop movie. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like, like, okay. Uh, that's my kind of outrageous it's so it's such a bad idea i want to see it happen. And they, okay but also but also they have a like comedic uh relief pet uh animal of some description like i don't know what the animal is yet i kind of want a chimp in the involved in this like it's 9 11 like it oh we should make the most offensive movie ever about 9 11 it's a buddy cop 9 11 movie with a chimp and <laughs> And all like <laughs> what? Uh, I'm listening. <laughs> I'm uh, getting out my producer's checkbook so I can stroke the pen for this movie. No, we should do it. You know, we could do it. I can make movies. I can, so, should. so it centers around these two cops mm-hmm. that are just happen to be well flying that day. They're gonna take down the Taliban. All right. Like it's it's like there's gonna be a fight as the building's crashing with the Taliban because the one's gonna crash the plane in there and like they get advanced knowledge like they well no the first plane hits right and they're like oh some shit's going on but the buddy cops they're like oh we got to get up to the top floor so as the second one hits they're like boom and then they're like all oh, this shit's fine and then but like there's like some uh like the music plays where it's like you're in a market in Afghanistan it's like doo, doo, you know like that music that plays. <laughs> And then out, like, there's a hole in the side of the plane, and it's crashing into the building, and everything's on fire. The guy that comes out of the plane, he's wearing his turban, and the turban's half on fire, and he's like, I will fuck you up, and whatever. And then, like, him and the buddy cops are all like, oh, shit, snap. And then the, the chimp fucking, like, kicks the turban guy in the balls, um, pushes, off, pushes him off into the plane, which then, like, falls, and the building crumbles. But the buddy cops have parachutes, so they jump off just in time as the building collapses, and they're like, woo! And then, like everybody and else, then, wait. And Owen, and then the camera zooms in on one of the bunny, the buddy cops. And as he watches, like the Taliban guy, like splat on the ground, he like drops his sunglasses. And he's like, "You've been Taliban, <laughs> Taliban, yeah, Taliban, yeah, yeah. exactly." What? And we do oh. guitar solo plays a little lick. And then the chimp's got his own parachute. The three of them all fly down, and they uh, they do some like, like you know, some gesture, some hand signal signal that they've like established earlier in the movie. It, maybe it's like a too sweet or like some sort of like boom, like uh, team us forever. And then like boom, to be continued. Sequel next time. Nine eleven two. Electric Boogaloo. <laughs> Electric Boogaloo. We should make this movie. It sounds good. It doesn't sound like anyone would be offended by it in the slightest. I mean, I, I love it. Yeah, I think it would make a lot of money. I think that uh, 
Oh, we'll put... I think capitalizing on America's nationalism always makes money, so let's do it. Did Dick Cheney die? Did he die? Let's look at I mean, I can Did figure that out right now. Because I kind of want to cast Dick Cheney as someone in the movie, just for fun. <laughs> like I want to put, Dick, like I really feel like we need like an angry businessman, the Dick Cheney as angry guy that like we don't specifically say he dies in there, but he's like a real dick, you can tell. And but he probably like you know <laughs> you can make assumptions that he might not got out of there. Yeah, he's not dead yet. He's eighty two. Yeah, it's cast Dick Cheney in this. Um, Oddly too. enough, real quick in Dick Cheney's Wikipedia. They have a clear picture of his signature. I think a few, that's pretty much everyone. That's like all the like most of the presidents and stuff like that. I think that's like maybe like a thing you forfeit when you become a president or like, like he, he was a vice oh, your president. signature. Yeah, I think when you like take public office, I feel like your signature actually becomes some form of like public domain or something. I don't know the specifics, but there's something yeah. like that. It's 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 it's. I've heard about that before, yeah, like your signature, because at that point, you're, when, you know, oh, we signed this document, you have to be able to constantly be able to verify, like, okay, that's not a fake. Right. It goes back to, like, old school, like, it's like an old school thing that carries on to modern day, and it probably is what I'm guessing, but, yeah. All right. sure. that's uh, UFOs, oh. aliens are real. Like just uh, reminding you guys, aliens. Just, just reminding, um, you, reminding you. Oh, and can I talk about one last, uh, one mm. more thing before we get out of here? Talk about anything you want, buddy. I, uh, I took a little trip, guys. Oh, that's right. I forgot to even mention it. I'm sorry, Nick. Uh, you went on a magical, um, uh, uh magical journey. Yeah. <laughs> um, my with like, hallucinogenics. Yeah, the guy who gets us our weed uh, told us, he's like, hey, I came upon some magical mushrooms. Are you guys Ooh. interested? Doo -doo, and I was doo -doo, like, doo -doo. Hey, you know, anytime this comes up, I'm like, yes, very much so. Yeah. yeah. yeah sure. um, and, you know, what do you, what is your guys' normal dose? dose? Um, well, I... Like, not anytime... if you're micro. I understand you micro a lot, yeah, yeah. so I'm not asking. I'm like, when you are dosing no. to... But I enjoy can't. yourself. Uh, uh, I usually start around three grams, usually, he, but that that couldn't. Normally, I'll probably have more in about an hour or so after I do that. <laughs> I'm not saying uh, conclusively that it's been very recently, and it's actually been a long while. But I was to a uh, a point where um, I could maybe handle about like two, but. That was uh, the high. Very, I'm a lightweight, right? Like I, it was. It was a very, very. Um, if, you were to, if you were to, if you were to, if I were to time. have two, like I would not be functional in the slightest. So, no, I, I, I definitely, I, I err on the side of caution. I haven't again. Like it's, it's been a while since I've done mushrooms, but, um, I. I, I know I'm a lightweight, but at the same time, like, any time I've gone, like, a, like, I've had an actual bad time when I've taken it ever, like, in the past, taken it too far. Um, I've had it, I've had a several occasions like that where it's like, ugh, that's uh, not for me. Um, what are you, just out of curiosity, what, what are you playing around with on your, you know, magical trip there? Uh... So we got a scale, but unfortunately, it, on the gram side of things, it only could give you like one number. Right. So we, th I threw some on there, and it was it registered to two. And I'm like, okay, well, I want to do more than two, because two is what I usually do. And I'm like, two has been hit or miss depending on the mushrooms. So I was like, I definitely want to like make it worthwhile. I don't work for the, another like couple days after that. So I piled it up until it said four and then yeah. pulled one off and it dropped into three. So somewhere in <laughs> three. real accurate uh, device you got there. I love that. I, I love like that. that. I do like love that. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so that that was kind of a lot. I don't think I've ever done that much. Um, she had a great time, I hope, right? 
So I remember we're, you know, we did it in my house, in my apartment. Uh, me and Janine both took roughly the same amount. Yeah. Um, and I can remember I also hadn't eaten it all that day. I knew what I was going to do that day. So I was like, I'm just going to leave my stomach empty so we can get to this. And I remember at one point, my living room is already kind of long because it extends like into a kitchen, basically. Yeah, I guess. But I remember sitting on the couch and looking at Janine and being like, this room is looking a little long. <laughs> like, oh, man, she's really far away. Like, yeah, I'm like, everything, everything's starting to get real disproportionate <laughs> in here. Hang on. Wait a minute. <laughs> um, I believe at the peak, I was reliving, like, the same moment over and over. I would, like, I was laying in bed, and I would look at the door. And then I would look at Janine, and I'd be like, "Are you okay? You got and stuck. Say, you got, yeah, you got stuck on a loop. You got stuck. On yeah, a loop? I got stuck in this yeah. loop. You were a, uh, you were a gif it. or a jiff or whatever they, you know, either you were like. Uh, 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 uh. I at one point realized that just time time didn't matter anymore because it wasn't like I wasn't experiencing it anymore. Time had just kind of ceased. I had, had, to, had evaporated. At this point, time. Yeah, I was like, well, wayside. I guess I, I guess I can do this forever because, I mean, time is just, time's done. It's in, yeah, Not, it's done. It's, it's stopped. Gone. Yeah, like it's, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, even if it exists, I don't exist inside of it. I can because walk, I would, I, I would go around. out. Yeah, I would go outside because I would. I bought myself a pack of cigarettes because I know I, who I, I am when I do mushrooms, and even though I don't smoke cigarettes anymore, you needed them. Just I case. needed to have yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was good because, like, I would get into this. I got into that zone where I was like, time isn't real. Everything inside my apartment is just, like, I don't need anything anymore. I'm, I've ascended beyond. You transcended into another dimensional space or headspace. Yeah. Like you were, you I were was... walking, you're walking around in time with the goddamn. Yeah. Fucking, and what, it was, what are they called? The elves? What are they called? The time elves? Were you in uh, time elf territory? Machine elves. Machine That's elves. DMT DMT. world. Yeah. That's different. I, I wasn't there. <laughs> um, but I. it was cool because I would then go outside, and outside was, like, regular. Things were... Ha- regular, like, regular? It should uh, also be gl- glorious. <laughs> no, no. Like, I was still in the state of being in the house. But, like, when I would step outside, it's like time... Continue, like oh, could time could, like so in the house it stopped when it when you yeah. went outside like it was like the world was like normal okay yeah like yeah time like is moving my out here for about an hour and you a half, made a my, tardis you made a mushroom tardis of your house is what you exactly. did for a period yeah yeah I had I had sealed my time my apartment in like a small time barrier where I figured yeah. if it stayed like this forever I'd be okay because it meant I didn't have to go back to work. <laughs> I didn't have to like do anything anymore. I could just walk. Honestly, what it meant I could do is I could just so nervously, could paranoid, paranoidly pace around my apartment, right, 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 and like try and smoke weed. Uh, the worst, the the, ba- the only bad part about the whole trip was sounds awful, honestly. <laughs> where I was, it, why, it's, why? it does sound it sounds awful, pretty good. But, no, it does sound awful, but at the time, I'm guessing you really enjoyed it, right? Oh yeah, I was like, "This yeah. is great!" Like, if time has stopped, like I'm gonna. Mi- <laughs> but it, I had but already, when you I describe had, it, it does sound awful. Yeah, I had, well, I'd already made peace with like, well, since I'm gonna exist in this time bubble, I'm not gonna have friends anymore because, I mean, they're all gonna die outside. I, I had resigned myself to living, <laughs> to living in my apartment in this time bubble. Where only Janine and I would just exist for, I assume, eternity. Wow. In my apartment. I don't think you're going to, I don't think eternity is, yeah, that's not going to work out for you, brother. Like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, that, that sounds like, uh, I love my wife. I don't want to be stuck in my apartment with my wife for the rest of eternity. Yeah. That sounds awful. Let me, I mean, uh, might be okay. Uh, I mean, <laughs> 
I gotta at least be able to get outside and sit on the porch. Like, if you give me that, I'm all right. But, you know, I can't. You know. I mean, you can go sit outside on the porch. You're just outside of the bubble and you could die. Yeah. Um, it's a risky move. It's a risky maneuver. So the only bad part about it was kind of towards the end where, like, the weird mushroom reality that I had accepted and, like, reality had kind of started to, like, come back together. Like I was fading out of like being trip of tripping, and like reality was starting to creep back uh, in. Fucking, and you're like, damn. Well, no, because Ooh. then it then it just felt like Alzheimer's because I would have like a minute or two of like oh some clarity, clarity. and then it would yeah, <laughs> and then it would just like kick back on, and like I I couldn't like remember like <laughs> what I was like my friends or like what I was supposed to be doing. Can't remember anything. Like, who is like, where am i everything I was, yeah it was just like and then i would have to like crawl back in bed because i'm like <laughs> now it's depressing yeah now half living in the time bubble is i'm not okay with it now and so yeah i did like and it, I, so you're either you're good with full, you're good with full time bubble you love that but ha like halfsies halfsies no good no nah, no good and here's here's the problem I'm pretty sure Janine just laid down and like it rode the wave and just like had a great time. <laughs> Whereas I like I spent the whole time like freaking out in my head, like, oh cool. Like so you got you're gonna live forever now, uh here. Honestly, have to give anytime if I've fallen asleep or whatever, it doesn't really do much of anything. It's kind of a waste. For me, it's like I want to at least like see the out I love I love watching wind in the trees in that state you know like things like that it feels like like being outside and in nature like as much as possible because you feel like the air and the breathe the breathing of the earth and like like there's something i do like changing environments it doesn't have to be in or out but like somewhere in there i gotta yeah. i gotta change my environment just, so my problem and just think, even what mike was doing going from indoors to outdoors is doing that right like it's it's yep, a completely yep. like different space especially in florida if you're inside in the ac it feels like a different like you're stepping onto a different planet when you open that door and step outside and that like sun like it, it is like oh my god it's so overwhelming it feels like two different complete like just ecosystems now, i think i could have done that if i would have done like two I think I could have mm. just enjoyed like meandering around, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I think I was so far up that you were I was... a little, you're a little much, a little much. This, yeah, yeah. It well, like, I feel like it kind of like stripped away who I was. I I did need it. <sighs> like, stripped away it, who like, you were. What? It, like it, <laughs> what? It stripped away who I was, and for That's a while intense, I was Mike. just like existing as just man. A, th a thing like the entity I, you went to your primal energy that was just floating around in like the ether and shit like yeah because like I, I didn't know what i could do anymore because like i was kind of like in bed Jeez. but like everything i was more i was really warm and like i'd been sweating so like everything kind of felt like one like between the blankets and the bed and everything, it all everything kind of felt, felt like, like one. one. Right. You were in like a like a weird. All right, I mean, it I sounds... was in like an odd ethereal state. It felt sounds great. Cool. I mean, I've been in I've been in something similar to that before, and it can actually it can be quite inviting. Like, uh, and so you know, who, you know, I don't I'm going to try. I'm think I'm going to try and do it again, but I'm just going to let go this well, time. Just well, like okay, let's let's be real about this. If we're going to throw like an actual like positive like real deal like thing on this um there should be way more medical studies into medicinal mushrooms and the different varieties and how they affect it the is brain sort of happening it's it's I mean, happening I think there are it's states, happening right they're yes. already de oh, yeah. there are, uh, like there are decriminalizations happen in oregon yeah. and uh colorado did colorado too, I, think. I think yeah where the two main ones i think there's others but and it is and it is happening it's just it seems like such an underutilized tool in i think mental health and just like um, probably a multitude of other things that if it was properly managed and dosed and all these th like you know mushrooms are fucking incredible incredible they are like, incredible uh, yeah. organisms exactly like, and, and, and they i can feel better eat i mean oil. i definitely they feel can, better 
I yeah. always do a couple like I feel like shit kind of sometimes the next day, but uh, I I I bounce back from them a lot quicker than I would after a night of heavy drinking. I'll tell you that like it's not it's not that bad, but 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 yeah, there's a bit of a cloudiness, but like it goes away. I never feel I usually bad. feel like, good yeah. about it. Yeah, I, well, no, I, like I, mentally, I always come out with some clarity for sure. Like it's like it's always good mentally, but my body feel does feel a little worn down. Like after like. Like, because I think I experience such highs and, you know, like it's, you know, it's, it's messing with all sorts of things, yep. you know? So it's, it's, yeah, it's an interesting. I, I definitely sweated it all up. I, I think I got a lot of gross stuff out of my body. So I think it definitely helped with that too. Probably um, not bad. I think, yeah. I think next time I, I'll either just go back to the mountain. Oh, dude, you know what we should run do? Run all the way up. You know what we should do? You know what we should do? Uh, I, I've got the ability, um, uh, to access a sauna, and uh, I can bring a I can bring a friend. So we should go do mushrooms and sit in a sauna for a while. <laughs> yeah, because I want to die. I will die, Owen. Like I overheat on those. No, without the mushrooms, we'll just go sit in a sauna. We'll just go. Let's go sauna. You want to go sauna with me? Let's, let's just get it. really high. Sauna. Right. Yeah, we'll forget to do the sauna part. <laughs> we'll not do it. We'll just do, like, <laughs> Yeah, it sounds about can right. You get, wait, can you smoke weed in a sauna? You can smoke weed in a sauna, right? It's your sauna. Well, technically, I mean, not my I mean, I don't think you're allowed to do that at this place. But, I mean, I can I go like, to, like, uh, the wise sauna and, like, yeah, puff no, a dupe? I don't think Carol, they're going to. I don't think so. I, I don't think that's going <laughs> to. That's bogus. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure someone's done it, though. I'm sure, And I'm sure someone's yeah. definitely tried. Like, that, that, is a guarantee. that is a goddamn guarantee. So what I was going to say was, uh, with you guys talking about, like, going out on while on mushrooms, I got so self-conscious, like, going outside because I was just, like, holding myself yeah, and, like, walking around and looking obviously crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I could walk around like that. No, huh, I hate it. I'm, I am I want to stay in my own home or in at least my own little sphere of uh, of things if I'm ever on you know, in, oh, I'm in definitely that state going of mind. to shows out in public. No, I don't like bar, that. No, I don't like that. You've done goddamn <laughs> radio <laughs> shows and come over at my house tripping balls, Ty. So I know what you I've do. I've seen you be on a bad trip. Yeah. I, uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't, you know. That's why I'm Ty's alive. driving around while tripping? Oh, he does it all the time. Uh, yeah, he used to. You have to be mildly responsible about it. But yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Guys, it I, is I time that we wrap up for the evening. This has been Ono 2.0. It has been a wonderful fucking week. Uh, I thank you for joining us for everything that we do. And I implore you that if you've got a couple extra bucks, just donate them to me. Patreon.com slash ONRS. That's the easiest way to do it. Uh, Throw them in his front yard. Throw uh, hands you know, full of dollars me, in Owen's front yard. You find a way to give me money. You can, you can, it's pretty easy to get a hold of me. If you need, you know, like a cash app or a Venmo, I'll give that to you too if you want that. Anyway. Just give me money. Do that. Um, let's also talk about Facebook.com slash group slash owner radio show. Like, that's where you can find out all our, you know, where anything's coming. Yeah, it's easy. Um, owner radio show.com 407-906-6466. Yeah, no one ever calls that number anymore, so I don't ever p- uh, promote it. But you should call that number. Leave us voicemails. We will play them, and they are fun. <sighs> What else? Uh, I don't think that's about it. Who gives a shit? Let's uh, get the fuck out of here. And you know what we say when we get out of here. Love you. We out. See you next week. Hey. Oh, oh! Porno meat loaf. 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 burgers and drawers. The cripples and the bugs. Porno meat loaf, porno meat loaf, porno meat loaf, porno meat loaf,
2024, baby, coming to Orlando, oh no radio show, oh no media taking over the back on, oh no, fatso.com coming soon, bitch.